Pastor Claude, come bless a nice offering. Praise the Lord in Jesus' name. Could we bow in everybody, please? Eternal God and our Father, we thank you, we honor you, we exalt you. We worship you, God. You're the King of all kings. You're the Lord of all Lord. God, you're the giver of all good things. Here we are tonight. We come to worship you, to lift you up. We worship your God in our songs and testimony. We are about to give back a portion of that which you have blessed us with. Mighty God, I ask for an increase tonight. Father, we pray, God, that it will come back to us, pressed down and shaken together and running over. Spirit of the living God, breathe upon your people money tonight. Wherever it is coming from, God, we pray that you touch it in a mighty way. Father, we come against the spirit of lack. We come against the spirit of poverty. Father, in the name of Jesus, as your people give tonight, they will no more be the beggar, but they'll be the giver. They will be no more be the one to borrow, but the one to lend. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come against the palmer worm, the conquer worm, and the locust. Father, turn everything around tonight in our lives as we give tonight, Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus that you bless us physically, spiritually, and financially. Take over, Holy Spirit, and let your will be done in Jesus' name. Praise God. We're going to read from Malachi 3, from verse 8 to 10. Praise God. Malachi chapter 3, from verse 8 to 12. Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me, but you say, Wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offering. You are cursed with a curse, for you have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that they may be meat in mine house. And prove me now, here with save the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the window of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that you shall be, there shall not be room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sake, and he shall not destroy the fruit of your ground. Neither shall your vine cast forth the fruit before her time in the field, saith the Lord of hosts. 12 and last, and all nations shall call you blessed, and you shall be a delightsome land, say the Lord of all. Would you lift your tithes and your offering in your right hand and repeat our offering statement of faith? As we give our offering tonight, we are believing God for jobs or better jobs, raises and bonuses, promotions and benefits, deals and better deals. Houses and lands, cars and limousines, checks in the mail, debts demolished, bills paid off, sicknesses to miraculously disappear, and the return of everything that the enemy have taken from us. If you believe God tonight, put a praise on your statement in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. We're going to ask, praise God. It's the shanty just to come to sing for the night's tithes and offering. Praise God. Hallelujah. 
You may feel down and feel like God has somehow forgotten that you are faced with circumstances you can go through oh right now it seems there's no way out and you're going under my god's proven times and times again he'll take care of you i know he'll do it again for you he'll do it again oh just take a look at where you are now and where you have been hasn't he You may not know how, you may not know when, but he'll do it again. God knows the things you're going through and how you are hurting. Oh, he understands just how your heart been broken into oh is a god of the stars the sun moon and seas and he is our father oh he'll calm the storms and he'll find the way to fix it for you i know He'll do it again for you. He'll do it again. Oh, just take a look at where you are now and where you have been. Oh, it's in the always come true.
but he'll do it again. Come on, give the Lord a praise in this house, everybody. Come on, if God has been good to you, open your mouth and give the Lord some praise in this house. Hallelujah. God is a good God and he is worthy to be praised. We are here because of his grace and his mercies. Praise God. God is good. I greet him because he is God all by himself. He don't need nothing to be God. I greet the holy angels that the Lord have dispatched in this house, ready to do what the Lord command them to do. I greet the most noble in our midst, praise God, our general overseer, Bishop Winston Royal Baker. Come on, give the Lord a praise for what God is using him to do. I greet the officers in your respective places, praise God, wonderful saints of the Most High God, those who are visiting from near and far. I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. God has been good. We have in our midst tonight, Praise God. Bishop Williams. We're just going to ask him just to come and greet you. Keep the praise going while he come and greet you. In Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise the Lord, everybody. Lift your hand and praise the Lord, everybody. Lift your hand and praise the Lord up in here. Amen. Praise God. Let me first give honor to the Spirit of God, which is the head of my life. And greet, praise God Almighty, our Bishop, Bishop Winston Baker, and all the officers in their respective place, wonderful saints. Praise God Almighty. Hallelujah. God has been so good. He's been so wonderful. And I'm here just to give God the glory and give him the praise. For without him, we are nothing. Without him, praise God Almighty. We can't move. Praise God Almighty. Hallelujah. The Bible says, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be lost. Praise God Almighty. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God Almighty. We are living in a closing time so make sure you make your calling and election sure because God is coming back with a shout praise God so get ready amen for the moving of God hallelujah lift your hand and give God glory the Lord bless you in Jesus name come on give the Lord a praise everybody give the Lord Jesus a praise everybody give the Lord Jesus a praise everybody God has been good. Praise God. We're just going to ask. Praise God. Our oh, elder John Barrett, just to come and greet you. In Jesus' name, praise God. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Give the Lord a praise. Come on, give the Lord a praise. Come on, give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. Come on, stand up on your feet and give the Lord a praise. Stand up on your feet and give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Come on, lift up those hands. Hallelujah to God. Lift up those hands and wave them in the ear. Hallelujah to God. And give God a shout of praise. Hallelujah to God. Because you see, there is none like this God. Hallelujah to God. You see, he don't need no help. He's God all by him himself. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. Come on somebody. He is the first and he is the last. He is the rose of Sarah. He is the lily of the valley. He is the bright and morning star. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. He is God all by himself. Come on lift up those hands and tell him thank you. Hallelujah to God. I greet I greet the Holy Spirit which is ahead of my life. Hallelujah to God. And I greet our apostle. Hallelujah to God. Winston George Baker. Hallelujah. In our midst. I greet Bishop Williams. Hallelujah. Overseer Mullins. Hallelujah. Pastor Clark. Hallelujah to God. The evangelists. Hallelujah. The pastors. Glory be to God. The deacons. Hallelujah to God. I greet God. Wonderful people. Hallelujah to God. I greet you in no other name but in the name of Jesus Christ. Because at the name of Jesus Christ every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess because Jesus Christ is Lord and he is God all by himself come on somebody clap your hands and give God a praise come on give the Lord a praise everybody give the Lord a praise everybody listen I ask evangelist butler just to come and greet you in Jesus name come on keep the praise going keep the praise going hallelujah Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. God is good. 
saints of God, if there are any Joseph in here tonight, I just want everybody to get up. Anybody in a pit situation and need something from Jesus, get up tonight and give God a real chance. Your breakthrough is in your praise. Hallelujah to Jesus. Coming out of your pit is in your praise. Give God a praise in this place tonight. Your praise. Lift up Jesus. He is a good God. And he's worthy to be praised. Oh God, God is wonderful. God is wonderful, saints of God. And I just want to tell somebody tonight. Just hold on. Hold on to Jesus. Uh, I know that you're in your pit. I know that. Uh, oh God, it's not everybody I'm talking tonight, but I'm talking to the true saints of God that is in our pit situation. I uh, know that, uh, oh God, their breakthrough is in their praise. Uh, and they want to come tonight to receive something from God. Uh, I'm just telling those people to just push, uh, push up to Jesus. Uh, oh God, and you will receive uh, everything uh, that you want uh, tonight. Uh, oh God, God is worthy to be praised. Uh, continue to seek him uh, in spirit and in truth uh, as we glorify him in Jesus' name. Come on, keep the praise going past the miller. Praise God is coming to greet you in Jesus' name. Praise God, praise God. Come on, somebody give the Lord a praise in his house. Come on, somebody give the Lord a praise in his house. Come on, somebody give the Lord a praise in his house. My God, my God, my God. I know we are warriors as in King Jesus, you know. So if you're in here and you're a warrior, give the Lord Jesus a praise in his house. Come on, we are not pretenders. We are servants in the most high God kingdom. Give the Lord a praise in his house. My, 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 my. We are almost there. We are not there yet. Give the Lord a praise. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Stand up, stand up on your feet, everybody. Do something like this. Everybody stand at your feet. Everybody stand on. Oh, they want proper English. Everyone stand on your feet, please. Everybody do something like this. Shake it off. Shake it off. Whatever you're coming out with, shake it. We're going to worship God. Give God a praise in his house. Give God a praise in his house. Hallelujah. I was called to greet. I greet the Holy Spirit as the source of my life. And give God a praise. I don't know about you, but I don't know what I would do without him. My God, if ever I feel like he's not close, I feel like a headless chicken. Give God a praise for the Holy Ghost tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to greet our apostle, our bishop. Our oh, spiritual father, leader, I give God thanks for him. A leader with a vision is a great gift to us. Give God a praise. <clears throat> Be sure if him go England and get a better praise. Give God a clap and a, come on somebody. No, that's it. That's it. I greet you, Bishop Williams. I greet all the officers our overseer, and I greet God's wonderful people. I encourage each and every one in this congregation today, be a gap stander for someone. In their lowest point, be a gap stander. Cover them in prayer and in fasting. God bless you. In Jesus' name. I want to keep the praise going, St. Pastor Chambers. Come on, greet you in Jesus' name. Praise God. Somebody worship the Lord. Somebody give God a praise in this house. Come on, somebody open your mouth and magnify the King of Kings. Come on, somebody open your mouth and reverence the King of all kings. Come on, come on, come on. Let's just shift the atmosphere with our praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm anticipating what God is about to do tonight. Hallelujah. I come with my cup turn up. I come with my expectation because God has been speaking to our spirit from uh, God some weeks now and uh, I'm just uh, anticipating what next. I don't know about you, but I'm anticipating what next God is going to say to my spirit. Uh, so God bless you in Jesus' name. 
Pastor Mackinson. In Jesus' name, praise God. Praise the Lord from whom all blessings flow. Praise him, all creatures here below. All political observe to our chief apostle and teaching priest, the man of the house, the angel of the church. I was talking to a sister Sunday evening after church. Because some Sunday evening after church, I don't go home. I stayed over, bless the name of the Lord. And we were talking about the angel of the church. And I let her know that sometimes the angel of the church is making reference to Pastor, hallelujah, our bishop. And we, can, we do, can we just put our hands together for the man of God? <laughs> hallelujah. I was talking about the man of God at work today again. And somebody said, no man, this man, ah, we have to talk about him, Pastor. And when I came to church again, I was talking to a sister around the back about our pastor again. And I said, trust me, we, and she said, it is the spirit of Anna Pastor. We always talk about the man of God. And tonight I'm honoring and I'm, and I'm glorifying God. And I'm bigging up God. And I'm blessing God for him. Thank you, Jesus. I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, Friday, I went to Monday night. I was at home. And for the past two weeks, my TV has not come off CNN because of what is happening in the Middle East and you know the current went and I told my wife to tell me what you know about what is happening about the war and she began to tell me about Isaac and Ishmael and Abraham and Sarah and Hagar and guess what she's a Bible school student so she was on track tonight I say Laila Tov Laila Tov in the Hebrew mean good night but guess what Israel is not having a good night they are being bombed they are being killed they have been masqueraded. They are hiding. They, they are fleeing, not, not knowing where they are going. And so every night I go home. I'm praying for the peace of Israel. And I'm asking the church of God tonight to pray for the peace of Israel. God said, I'll fight against them that fight against you. Mighty God, God said, I'm going to bless them that bless you. And I know that Israel cannot be destroyed because the Messiah is going to come. And 12,000 from each tribe have to be sealed. Ah, oh, God, governmental order. 12, God, oh, governmental order. And even the whole world tonight should gather against Israel. I believe that we we'll just let the second coming of the Lord come faster. Because he would burst the eastern sky to defend his chosen. No weapon that form against Israel shall prosper. And every tongue that's rising against that nation will be condemned. And that goes for the church too. You pray my strength while well, I do the same for you. Ella, Praise God. Our Pastor Clark is coming to greet you. Come on, keep the praise going, saints. Somebody give the Lord a praise up in here. Can I hear the warriors give God a praise up in here? Can I hear the overcomers give God a praise? Those that have victory wrap up in your belly, give God a praise. Shanda Kataya Babasa. Praise the name of Jesus. Greetings to our Bishop and General Bishop Winston George Baker. To Bishop Williams, our elders, evangelist, deacon, and missionary saints of God. Greetings. Let me take my time for a few minutes as soon. I won't be staying long. But tonight, I was saying something to Bishop. And I want to repeat it tonight. Can I go ahead, Bishop? I spoke with my bishop this evening. And some of you see me standing here. You wouldn't know where I'm coming from. I let him know how much I respect him. I love him. And there's nothing no one can say about him that would have me to say anything negative about this man of God. I've been in this for 30 odd years. I was just saying to Evangelist Chambers, I was in St. Mary. I had four church by a bishop in St. Mary. That bishop, I don't remember his name now, but he died. Mitchell, Bishop Mitchell. I had four church that he gave me to oversee. I would preach at each church every Sunday. I said to my bishop, Bishop, I love you. Because of this ministry, I know what it is to be a true child of God. Because of this ministry, I know how to walk as a true man of God. I told him tonight as a bishop, since I come to this church, 
It is my best time of being a true Christian. The Bible said we must confess. When I was other places, I used to play Ascotch. One foot in, one foot out. When I look because of what I see on this man of God. Let me tell you, some of you don't even understand what this man of God carry. We, he said, we don't have to talk about him when we come up here, sir. So, but sometimes we have to talk about you, sir. Hallelujah. Because of what you carry. That's why I learned to humble. I learned to walk as a man of God. I sat there tonight and what comes to me, Bishop, is Elisha and Elijah. The monk that fall. Some of you don't understand what Bishop release every time he hold the mic. Bishop Williams, listen to me. Listen to me. You see somebody who this man of God had put something on my life that no other leaders did. Others write me off and condemn me. Others put me down, Bishop, and say I would never come out to be nothing. But when I look because of this man of God, there are so many things that are happening in my life. Bishop, I love you so much. I respect you as a young man. I'm older than him. He's my daddy. He's my daddy. When I look and see even my church in Petersville, it's all because of him who motivated me that I can stand to be a true leader. When I look and see how many persons I'm leading tonight, Bishop, it's all because of you. Because what you carry is not normal. And some of us are playing around with it. Some of us don't even understand what this man carry. He carry an end time reaping spirit. Anybody come to this church, see yourself in a place that you can't. If you just live for God, you can't miss heaven. You can't miss it if you just live. Because of what Bishop carries. Let us pray for him. I love you, sir. And when I come to you to confess anything, I don't have to hold back. Because you're a true man of God. You will not rough me up. You will not rush us. You will not condemn us. But you will sit down and listen. And tell me what to do. I'm not jumping tonight. I'm not screaming on top of my voice tonight. But I'm telling you how I feel. Thank you, sir. Thank you. To help me to show my true potential. That which others condemn. And write off. Thank you. Stand with me, everybody. Stand with me in this house. Help me make one come to this podium. No other than our general and overseer. The end time reaper of this camera, the who will be a worker, the lesbian, Shanda Kataya, Shataya Bashaya. Put your hands together and make our bishop welcome in Jesus' name. Somebody keep those hands clapping. Come on, clap those hands and magnify the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. Somebody open your mouth and Shabbat the King. 
open your mouth and give the Lord Jesus Christ a good praise in this house. He's worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same. Our God is to be praised. Somebody clap those hands and give God a clap hand of praise. He's worthy. Come on, he's worthy. Our God is worthy. Jehovah is our God. Somebody praise him tonight. Somebody say, Yahweh is my king. Come on, open your mouth and say, El Shaddai is my God. Elohim is my savior. Clap your hands and praise him. He's Yahshua. He's Yahweh. He's Jesus Christus. He's Jesus Christ, our Lord. Clap your hands and celebrate him tonight. Come on and celebrate him tonight. Reach to your neighbor now once a neighbor. My good neighbor. Glad to see you. You're at the right place. At the right time. For your miracle. Come on and smile with somebody and say hello neighbor. My goodly neighbor. Glad to see you tonight. You're at the right place. At the right time. For your breakthrough. Clap your hands and praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for he is good and his mercies endure it forever. Somebody give him a wave offering in this house. Somebody give the Lord a wave offering in this house. He's Lord all by himself. Clap your hands and praise the name of Jesus Christ. Please, while you remain standing, turn your Bibles with me to Genesis 26. And let's take verse 12. Genesis 26. God is a good God. Hallelujah. Genesis 26, verse 12. Let me take this privilege first to greet the Spirit of God who is the source of my life. Who brought me out of nature's darkness and placed me in his marvelous light. Pull me out of the kingdom of dust in the person of Bishop Williams, my daddy, and Mother Williams. God bless you tonight. Hallelujah. God is the, a good God. Where is the worshipers in here? God. If you don't learn to honor your elders, it means you are not humble. Somebody wave your hands and give God a clap and a praise for the woman and man of God in our midst. I greet all the rostrum, pastors and elders and evangelists and missionaries and musicians and technicians, multimedia personnel, well-wishers. I greet all the unsaved. I greet all the saints of the Most High God, those who are visiting from far. I think Elder Noonan is in the house. Wave your hand. Praise the name of the Lord. And Evangelist Mignot is in the house. Wave your hand. Glory to God. And Missionary is in the house. Where is the worshipers? Come on, give God a praise. Saints from Kingston. Traveled all the way from Kingston. Hallelujah. And uh, they are the ones that bring this wonderful podium from Negril to Loving Care. And when you go back to Negril, and you're, you're gonna realize that there is a new holy podium in Negril. And so they are responsible for the shift. Somebody give God a praise in this house. God is a good God. There is a shift. And if you are blind, you can see the shift. Hallelujah. And if you are dumb and deaf, you can hear the shift. Because it's more than in the physical. It's in the spiritual. Come on. So uh, we move from, we don't call creation. We don't call uh, when God creates. We don't say God takes something from nothing. Uh -uh. To create is to take something from the realm of the spirit and pull it in the physical. Oh, Shia. So what you see now, it was dear in the realms of the spirit. Oh, is there anybody in here who can feel something that is over there? 
that needs to move from over there and manifest over here because the battle is first one over there and then you will see manifestation over here you got to understand that it was in existence before and you got to use your faith to take it from over there and put it over here it is yours but you got to open your spirit and take it by faith oh I like the little song where I said, Me come here if you take it. I mean, now go and left it because it's mine. But I only can take it if I come out of the physical and get over there. You see, demons don't live in the physical, the devil don't live in the physical. And so if you're going to defeat the devil, you can't stay in the physical and whip the devil in the spiritual. you got to get out of the physical and go where he is. Open your mouth by faith and pull down strongholds. Somebody wave your hands if you are in the church tonight. Somebody wave your hands and tell the Lord, oh, thank you. Glory to God. Somebody just shout a hallelujah, please. He's worthy to be praised. Genesis 26, verse 12. When you are there, just shout word. Then Isaac sowed in that land and received in the same year an hundredfold. And the Lord blessed him. And the man waxed great and went forward and grew until he became very great for he had possessions of flocks and the possession of herds and and great store of servants and the philistine envied him i want to talk about that tonight for all the wells which his father's servants had digged in the days of abraham his father the Philistine had stopped them and filled them with earth. Some translations say dirt, so you can use dirt, earth, earth, dirt. Fill them with dirt. And Abimelech said unto Isaac, Go from us, for thou art mightier than we. And Isaac depart thence and pitch his tent in the valley of Gehar and dwell there. And Isaac dig again the wells of water which they had digged in the days of Abraham his father for the Philistine had stopped them after the death of Abraham. And he called their names after the name the names after the names by which his father had called them. He never renamed the wells. He gave them the name that his father Abraham gave them. Where are we? And Isaac's servants dig in the valley and found there a well of springing water, living water, running water. And the herdman of Gehar did strive with Isaac. They strive with Isaac. They strive with Isaac herdsmen saying, The water is ours. And he called the name of the well Isaac. Because they strove with him. They strove with him. He called the well Isaac. 21 are you there and they dig another well the man walk away and leave the well they strove with him for the well they contend for the well they strive for the well he walk away and leave the well and 21 and they dig another well and they strove for that also and he called the name Sitna my God. And he removed from thence. He walked away again. Shayaba 
Kasa. And he removed from thence and dig another well. And for that they strove not. Can't handle this one. For that they strove not. And he called the name of it Rehoboth. And he said for the Lord. For now the Lord. Somebody open your mouth wide if you think this Rehoboth is yours. If you think you are this person in this text. If this text is speaking to you. Oh, Shia. I wonder if you know you can read a verse. And when you read the verse, that verse is speaking to you. Oh, Shia. Just one verse from the Bible. One verse from the Holy Scripture. And when that verse speaks to you, everything have to back up at the word of God. Let's read it if it's yours, please. Hallelujah. Where are we with this verse? Verse 22. And he removed then, and he removed from thence and dig another well. And for that they strove not stop the contention. Hallelujah. And he called the name of it Rehoboth. And he said, For now the Lord had made room for us. Oh, Shia. And we shall be fruitful. In this land. Oh, Shia. Is there anybody in here can open your mouth wide and prophesy if that verse is yours? Uh -huh, uh -huh. God has made room for me. And I shall be fruitful right where I am. I'm going to bloom where I'm planted. Somebody open your mouth and prophesy over your own life. Speak over your own life every negative words that was released over you. Reverse it with this verse. Open your mouth and say that the Lord had made room for me and I shall be faithful in this land. Let us pray. Eternal God and our Father, creator of this universe, God that declared, let there be and there was. You have made us. And your word declared, you made us in, our, in your image and after your likeness. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, you spake. And it was done. You command. And it stood fast. Your words can never. Return to you. Void or empty. Wherever you send it. It got to be fruitful. And accomplish. What you have sent it to do. Please Holy Spirit. Speak to your people. Release a word in somebody's life tonight. Touch my tongue as I give you this lump of flesh, please. Let your efficacious blood saturate me tonight. From the crown of my head to the soles of my feet, please. Touch my tongue. Let me preach your word skillfully. Use it for your honor and for your glory. Let your angels have free course tonight. Let your high-ranking angels with swords of fire, let them do our fear on behalf of your church. I declare victory over your people. Please, Holy Spirit, fight and give victory to us. Somebody open your mouth and shout a high praise in this house. Come on, shout one more praise in this house. Yes, obedient is better than sacrifice. So please turn to four people. Look them dead in the eyes and say, neighbor. My good neighbor. Your real hobart is on the way. Your real hobart is on the way. Dig. 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 Don't stop digging. Your Hobart is on the way. And if that's you, clap your hands. Slap your seat and declare on the way. 
and sit down in that prophecy tonight. God is a good God. There is none like him. He's Lord all by himself. He's unstoppable because he's God. One thing I can tell you, if God smiles on you, you are unstoppable. If God speak a word over your life, there's no devil in hell to block the word of God. Hallelujah to God. You got to understand that there is a secret place in God. And when you find that secret place, you are covered under the shadow of the Almighty. I don't care who don't like you. If God is on your side, you are unstoppable. I don't care who is fighting you. Uh, you, you, you it shouldn't even care about that. What you should care about is getting God on your side. I am. If God bless you, tell me who can be against you. If God is on your side, you can search for all the who's you want and bring the who's come. Let me see if those who's can match with my God. Let me see if the hand is tall enough, strong enough, big enough to box with my God. Oh, Jesus, um, Pharaoh was the king of Egypt and he had the world power and he tried to box with God. And when the match was over, there was only one God standing in the boxing ring. Knockout punch. Boof. Where is the worshippers in here? My God. Tell your neighbor that's my daddy. He's talking about unstoppable. I want to talk to you a little bit because today we are faced with a text speaking about wells. Hallelujah. And in these days, in the days, in the days, in the days of Isaac. Wells are like the town center. If you notice, even in the time of Christ, when he went to Sychar, Sychar, and with a Samaritan woman, she was at the well. And the well was that meeting place. You notice she said, this well belongs to our father Jacob. In other words, the well was like the plaza. And, you know, the, the well was that place where the, the wealthy man, the rich, the, uh, they are the one that control the, the, the wells because the wells is the source of wealth. You know, because in those days, you know, they have the herd men, the, yes, and uh, the, 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 the farmers. And you know that the, the, the cattle cannot survive without water. And the, 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 the herbs, the, 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 they can't survive without the water. So the water now becomes the, the source. It's the source of wealth. He that controls the well, control the wealth. Yes, and so here we see now that Isaac, Coming from the line of Jacob. He is blessed. Whenever we pick up our daddy. We will always say he is the God of Abraham. The God of Isaac. And the God of Jacob. I told you on Sunday night. When you say he's the God of Abraham. We are talking about the God that never too late. When you talk about the God of Abraham. You are talking about a God who can visit you. In their old age and he can restore your years like abraham 75 god visit him and said it's time to leave out of your mother's house your daddy's house can you imagine at 75 you're still living with your daddy but god is such a big god and a good god that he visit the man and said it's time to leave and i'm gonna make you a blessing I'm going to make you so wealthy nations at 75. And then God didn't fulfill the promise until 24 years later. God waited until the man is 99. 
he gave him the son. And his wife is 89. Baby born when he's 100. Where is the worshippers? You're coming with me. And, and, and it's at that time, God, after the age of 100, he gave Abraham another wife after the death of his wife, Sarah. Keturah, and she had six more children. At age 100. You can't tell me that that's not restoration of years. And so, he, when you say the God of Abraham, you're saying the God that never too late. The God that can show up when it seems as if wasted days and you'll have no hope. He's our daddy. Then I jump to Jacob. And I say he's the God of Jacob. Before I explain Isaac. Isaac, we're going to talk about Isaac tonight. But he's the God of Jacob. And we know who Jacob is. Jacob is a boy that lives under a curse. He's the third generation of Abraham. And the Bible highlights that Abraham lied down in Egypt to the king Abimelech. But then in this text, when you go home, you read it. In Genesis 26, verse 1, the Bible speaks of a, 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 a famine. There was a famine in the land beside the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. So just as old, Abraham had a famine, and Abraham went down to Egypt, and Abraham lied to Egypt, there's another famine in Isaac's time. And Isaac lied again. The writer makes sure he put it in the scrolls, the holy scriptures, so that we can realize that there was something that reoccurs in Isaac's life. Abraham lied and Isaac lied, but then Jacob's name was liar. And if you, in Bible days, we tell you that. We're not going back through that service again. But in Bible days, uh, whatever name you give is that who you are. So if you are reading the Bible from, in Bible days, when you're reading the Bible and if you see somebody named Baker, it means he's a baker. If it's somebody and the name is Carpenter, it means he's a carpenter. Because if you say Moses, you mean he was drawn from the water. Names speak of who you are in Bible. So to call him Jacob is to say the family recognize that this is the third generation of lying. Jacob walks under deception. He, we look at his life. We see that he was in the home as a twin. And when his mother, Rachel, was giving birth... The Bible said he hold on to the heel. He's a heel grabber. Why did he hold on to his brother's heel? Because he wants to take what is Esau's. Because the Bible said he that cometh out first should get the blessing and the birth right. He wants it. So he's holding on to his brother at birth. But then when you look through his life, you realize that he lied and he deceived his brother and got there. Birthright, and he deceived his brother and got get the blessing. So he was really, according to the scriptures, a trickster, a con artist, a liar. But why would we call God the God of Jacob? It is because Jacob was walking under the curse of lying and deception. And God show up in his life. Visit him. I told you about Tiafani already. He, uh, the Tiafani God take on a form for, a, 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 for just a little time. A, a, a few, uh, uh, just for a short time. And the Bible said, and he wrestled with him. Read it. Genesis 32. He wrestled. Why was Jacob wrestling with God? 
because of the curse that was on his life, he want God to break it. He want God to turn his life around. Uh, he wrestles. Is there anybody in here can say, he's my God. Some persons in here can say, he is my God. Abraham, God is my God because uh, I, I got saved when I'm old. I got my breakthrough when I'm old. I got my house when I'm old. I got my blessing when I'm old. Yes, he is my God, God of Abraham. But some can say he is the God of Jacob to me. I was under a curse. I was a liar. I was a thief. I was a hatist. I was an opium man. I was a scammer. I was a gunman. Who are you? Who are you? But you wrestle. And the truth is not really you wrestle. God wrestled with Jacob. <laughs> Read the text. It was God wrestling with him. Oh, Shia. It's so good, you know, because you see, when, when, when you wrestle with somebody, if the person win, you lose. <laughs> but when you wrestle with God, as long as God win, you win. Right, let's have two minutes, please. Oh, touch your neighbor. Say, so when I wrestle with God, I want him to win. Because anytime God win the battle, it means victory belongs to me. Anytime God overpower me. And if it take a limp, oh, shire, as long as God win. You know why? Because God want the best from where is the worshippers, man? It's kind of tight, you know. You better touch your neighbor and say, let's have some church in church. All right. And so there we see now, preacher, that he wrestled. And God said, let me go. And he said, I will not let you go until you bless me. And God now get in and say, what is your name? Why God got to ask them and I wrestle him and I wrestle him? Jesus, let's have some church a little bit. Yes, you ever see two somebody have fight, then I ask them their name. Lock neck, huh? Man of God. But God has wrestled with him and I said, what is your name? Where is the worshippers? You better touch two people and tell them. Anytime God asks you that, just be real. Shia Basa. The last time somebody asked him that in life. You know, my God, touch your neighbor. Say, last time somebody asked him that in, in Lego and lie. Isaac said, Who is that? You ain't lying up. Esau. Oh, Shia Basa. Enlighten Father, you know. And when enlightening Father, in thinking, get a blessing. Oh, Shia. In feeling, get a blessing. Because enlightening Father, and say, it's, uh, it's Esau. And if Father put his hand on him, and let go all the blessing. But even though his Father put his hand on him, boy, Shia, he was still under that nature because his daddy. Isaac can take off the nature of sin but if you wrestle with God I don't care what bondage you're under if you wrestle with God when God asks you a question be real with God if you are thieves say God are the thief this if you are liars say God are the liar this if you are fine kid say God Who am I preaching to? It's kind of flat. You better touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, there is one person you never lied to. You can't lie to God. There was a wrestling taking place and God asked him his name. And this time he was real. You touch two people and tell them when you are real with God, God will deliver you. When you are real with God, God will sanctify you. When you are real with God, God will 
change your name. God asked him, what's your name? And he said, I am the liar. I am the deceiver. I am Jacob. And God talk again. Oh, shy. In other words, God said, you are real. And if you are real with me, you are going to open for deliverance. Who am I talking to? And God said, all right. Your name shall no more be called Jacob. But your name shall be Israel. You know why? Because you wrestle with men. And you wrestle with God. And you come out a victorious child. I wish everybody in this house God will have that same testimony. God will say you wrestle with men. And you wrestle with God. And you come out triumphant. You better reach your neighbor. Say neighbor you might be wrestling with what men have to say about you. you might be wrestling with how people think about you. You might be wrestling with people's opinion of you. But when you overcome what they want to think, when you overcome what they want to say, when you come to the knowledge that man don't have the answer, when you come to the knowledge that it's time for me from wrestling with men, it's time for me to stop focusing on how you think about me and what you say about me and what you believe about me and just turn to the one who can fix me and say time to stop wrestling with man somebody tell three people and tell them it's time just stop man focus on who not like you who are chat you who are call you obia woman who are call you obia man who say you are nothing who say you are this and you are that and, who, and it's time for you to forget about them man and start focus on the one, the only one who can fix things and turn things and bless when man curse it's time and I said the bible said Jacob was left alone and because he was alone touch somebody tell them when God wants to wrestle with you he will allow men to ostracize you. When God wants to wrestle with you, he will allow your best friends to turn against you. When God wants some long time with you, God will allow your family to write you off. When God wants some long time with you, he will allow problem in the relationship. When God wants some long time, but I come by to tell you, Anytime you have a long time with God, then there's going to be a shift in your understanding. Anytime you have a long time with God, watch this when God wants to change Jacob's life. He was left alone. When God wants to give the 12 disciples the Holy Ghost, they were in the upper room by themselves when God wants to give us the book of Revelation he pulled John on the aisle of Patmos he said in the day in the, I was in the spirit and the Lord's day he was left alone anytime God want to do something great in your life he got to pull you up by yourself and without there is no long time you will never go to the next level who am I talking to is there anybody in here God is trying to pull you oh shire he wants some time with you he wants to raise you up he wants to bless you but you need some alone time with God who am I preaching to anytime God wants to give you a revelation he always calls a situation situation gives revelation so 
John need a situation. John need some persecution. John need some tribulation. No tribulation. No revelation. No situation. No promotion. Sit tight. Let us have a little bit of church. Come on, sit down. Let's talk a little bit. And so the God of Jacob is the God that changed you. The God of Jacob is the God that turned things around. Who am I talking to? Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. The God of Jacob is the curse breaker. The God of Jacob is the York destroyer the God of Jacob is the God that visit your generational curse you're coming with me son the God of Abraham is the God that comes when it seems like there's no help around he comes when it seems like four day is gone that's the God of Abraham the God of Jacob is the one that show up when man write you off you could see Jacob everybody just call him Jacob what? Tell somebody tell him Jacob what Jacob mean again General Ancanatis so just imagine now that name was given to him by his father. Just remember what I said name is in the Old Testament. Name is who you are. So if your name is Nabal, you just say one fool. And you just operate under foolishness. And the spirit of foolishness is going to come and live with you. So name is nature. Name is character. So his daddy called him Jinnah Conatis. So his mother began to say Conatis. In his house, his family see him as the Conatis. In his community, Conatis. So his whole life, Conatis. In can and runway. And when him reach, when him run gone, he might try can. No, he might try hide can first. And then his uncle start can him. So the can demons not left him. So his uncle can him. And then in the say, you think you can can me? I can art. Is. Come on, man. Let's all know. And so he, he now begin to come back. Oh, Shia was And God show up in his life and say, You shall no more be called a canotis. Your name as of tonight shall be called a prince. A son of the king. Oh, Shia. My God. And when God changed you, don't let nobody put nothing on you. When God take off something from off you, don't allow nobody to tell you who you are. Can I find 10 people in here who can open their mouth and say, you can't define me. You can't tell me who I am. I know who I am. When I went to the water, I was born of the water. And I speak out in tongues, born of the spirit. And God said, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. And behold, all things are become new. Come on, warriors. And God said, you are royal priesthood. You are holy nation. You are peculiar people. God said, you are son of God. And God said, there is therefore now. 
Where are the warriors flat? Come on, tell the neighbor, if you want to condemn me, you should find me and condemn me before I went to the water. But too late now, I've already been to the water. I've already been baptized. I've already got the Holy Ghost. I've already speaking in tongues. And I love what I'm feeling. I feel what I'm feeling. And you can't tell me who I am. Who are you again? I am what God says I am. I can do what God says I can do. I can go find for people please and tell them all limits off. Tear the roof off. If God said it, I believe it. And that circles it. My God, how much you find? I said find four. And tell them when God speak it, believe it and leave it. Who am I talking to? Mm, come on, Mr. Jacob. I said God change your name. God change your character. God change your nature. God change you. And if God change you, don't let nobody put a pass on you because everybody that is born of the water you bury the pass come on the warriors man it's kind of flat in a man i know we can't touch robots yet you know come on touch your neighbor and say neighbor if god change your name don't let nobody put anything on you Come on, the God of Jacob is the God that changed names. Who am I talking to? Oh, God is flatty, man. I say, if the God, if you call him the God of Jacob, you are saying he's the God that changed name. And to change name means to change who you are, to change your personality, to change your character, to change. Anybody get a name change? Anybody in here get a name change? You better touch your neighbor and say, He changed my name. I am little Jesus. The next time you see me, say, Christ, Tian. Oh, shy. All right, let me, let, me, let me touch that. Let me touch that. Let me touch that. They were first called Christians at Antioch. No. Now, now, Christian. They were called Christians at Antioch. Now, it wasn't Christian. It wasn't kingdom people that called them Christians. It was unsaved. You coming? It was who? Unsaved. Can I give you a little revelation? Yes, you gotta remember that I'm preaching when the time comes. Yes, All right. It was unsaved who called them that. That mean it was demons who called them that. It was who? Demons. Let us have a little church now. So if a demon called them that, that means when the demon look on them. What Christian mean again? Christ like. The word Christian mean to look like Christ. What Christian mean? So that's what the Hebrew, and it comes from a Hebrew word which speak of a branch. Uh, what's that Greek Hebrew word that speak of? When engraft, what do you use? When, when, when they cut a piece of branch and stick it. You, you know about olive tree? That, they, well, how they engraft? They Take a piece of branch, put it at the root, take it out after it starts to bloom. That's what the word Christian comes from in Amasia. So it, it, it is said that we were Gentiles. And Papa found us. Push we in. And then we start take from the root. Here is the worshipers, man. And everything from the root just come down in us the demons realize that these people they were nothing they were nobody but God take the nature of Christ and put it in them and when the demons look at you 
the demon just see Christ. Yeah. Can we go a little deeper? Hold the neighbor and say, neighbor, learn this and don't forget this. This one is kind of heavy. Now, you see all of us in here now? Huh? You see, if we ever go off in the spirit, you see, when we begin to manifest in the spirit, you see, when a demon see you, then I know say, you know. You are coming me? If you get off in the Holy Ghost, and when one unclean spirit, one unclean spirit see you, then I know say, you know. You look just like Christ in the spirit. So you know who that? Where is the worshippers, man? Where is the warriors? Up your mouth and say something in here, man. My God. So, the only thing can give you away are your speech. You want to hear how? Like, you get off in the Holy Ghost and you start speak like you say. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. You start repeat that. And you start say, The Lord is my shepherd. And you miss two words. Like you just say, The Lord is my shepherd. I believe I would want. Once you're missing the scripture, the demons don't say, no, Jesus, that. God, Jesus is the word. Where is the worshippers in here, man? Oh, So touch your neighbor, say, neighbor. God said, when you get Holy Ghost, you put on Christ. The Bible says, visit the Gentiles and pick out of the Gentiles a people for his name. As many as baptized into Christ. Bible scholars, let me talk to the Bible scholars before we preach. Bible scholars, that's Galatians 3 27. Listen what it says. As many as baptized into Christ has put on Christ. You see that word put on? In the Greek, it means to be clothed. Let me explain. So when I say as many as baptized into Christ has put on Christ, in the Greek, it means a man go in a wardrobe and take out one jacket suit. And put it on. Clothe himself with it. As many as baptized into Christ. So when you're in a holy ghost. The devil can't even know. Say you. Because you have on Christ. Where is the worshippers in here man? You better get radical in here in the man. So every time you say. Um, the God. Alright let me bring out something. Because last week I said something. I mean we're religious people are like techie. And I use against me. Yes, sir. When me say, if you are Christian, if you have Holy Ghost, born of the water and of the Spirit, and if you lie, you're not a liar. Yes, sir. And me say, if you me use the word fornication, come this is somebody who fornicate. Yes. <laughs> if you fornicate, you're not a fornicator. Yes, they will get it wrong on one. So I want the bishop to say me to go find the kid. No. Oh, shy of myself. What I'm simply saying is that if you are Christian and you tell a lie, you are not seen as a liar in the realm of the spirit. No. You are still seen as a son of God. God no call you a liar. God call you a son. Shayabasa. So that so the devil can put that pan you and say, Yeah, Jacob. Yes, sir. No, touch your neighbor said, No, me and Jacob. Me and Israel. But guess what? Let's have a little church. Because God said in Genesis 32 to Jacob, say, 
you shall no more be called Jacob but Israel. Who said? But then after that, after that, after God said that, you hear God I call him Jacob. You don't get it? All right. God said he must never be called Jacob, but he must be called and yet, every time when I praise God, I say, Oh, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of. You're coming with me, man. So, why would God say not call himself again, but God himself call himself? Where is the worshipers? Walk with me, no man. Let's have some church, no man. Shia Basa. In other words, even though you're not a liar no more. Every now and then, God has to remind you, say, hey, you remember where I take you from? <laughs> Nobody can show up on the body. You did that old Jacob. You did that old trickster. You did that old genial. So when you come at church, you can go on like you're better than nobody in here. Lord Jesus, where is the worshipers in here, man? You better touch your neighbor, say, every now and then, God has to joke him on your side. So you can know, say, you're not better than nobody. Shy away all of sin. And come shot of the glory of God. So we now go back there. Touch your neighbor. Say, no, go back there. If you use a line, no, go back there. If you use a thief, no, go back there. If you use a fan, no, go back there. For all things are passed away. Take two minutes and say something, no man. Take two minutes and say something, no man. Touch your neighbor and tell them, I'm renamed. I am renamed. I have a new name. I have a new nature. I have a new spirit. I came to church one night and my heart was not right. But something got a hold of me. He picks me up. He turned me around. He plant my feet on the higher ground. Come on, warriors. Throw your head back. Open your mouth. You know, long summer we are wait. Come on, where is the worshippers? Come on, ask anybody. You know, long we are wait. Kind of flat, man. Too flat. I said, tell two people, man, it's kind of too tight. I tell them, you know, long we are wait. I wait patiently. Yeah, some people are weird for in a sin, you know. Like Abraham and like Jacob, all the days in life. They are wait for a moment. Abraham was waiting until God speak to him. And, and Jacob was waiting until God wrestled with him. Shire. You don't read it in your Bible. David, he was behind the bush. He was waiting on God to come and deliver him. And God sent the prophet Samuel. And they didn't invite him to the table. But Samuel said, have you no other son? He said, yes, I have one in the bush. And he said, go for the bushman. And when the bushman come, who will the ghost rise up on Samuel? And say, the what? The man, the what? The Lord's anointing and the man prophesy on him and say, Look not on his countenance, don't you look on his height for man look at and the outward appearance. But I, the Lord your God, I search the heart. Who am I talking to? He anoint him, the eye never stay, the eye pour out and deal it, and from that day. The spirit of the Lord was upon David. Pass. Homework. Can I give you something to go home? Ah, homework. I give you the homework. Hold on. Her Bible says from that day. The spirit of the Lord is upon David. I found that day. So when David did in a bush. And the lion come and walk up upon him. When David was in the bush and the bear attacking sheep, what was on him? When David was around the back and David a right son, what was upon him? All right, remember tell the homework. So let's talk a little bit. Go, go answer that. You hear the question? What was the question again? I said, how oh, the Bible said from that day, the spirit of the Lord is upon David. So when David did in that bush, what did they find him? 
All right, that's the question. Let's go back to service now. You ready with me, warriors? The Bible said when Samuel prophesied on David, he sent him back in the bush. And can you tell her what David was on the bush doing? He was waiting on his time. My God, who am I talking to? You have some people that wait a long time. Now. You think I know them, I got plan to serve God. You think I know them, I say, God, I got to raise them up. A long time from the inner sin. All when them are born the weed, they must say God go raise me up. All when they are the club, they must say God go raise them up. A long time, David said, I wait patiently for the Lord, and the Lord heard me, inclined unto me, and heard my cry. He brought me up out of the herb pit out of the miry clay and set my feet upon a rock and establish my goings you're coming with me reach your neighbor and say neighbor God is gonna raise up somebody who is waiting on the move of God who am I talking to David said this poor man cry unto the Lord and he heard my cry who am I preaching to David was waiting and David said hear my cry oh God from the ends of the earth will I cry unto thee when my heart is overwhelmed lead me to the rock which is higher than I who am I talking to many are the afflictions of the right warriors are you here warriors are you here come on is there anybody in here can say this is my testimony I worship the God of Abraham and anybody in here can say I worship the God of Jacob but then what about the God of Isaac Shia Messiah. Shia Yeah, Messiah. Drag somebody and say, The God of Isaac is my God. You see, not everybody in here was lie and thief and wicked and prostitute. And not everybody's like that. Was like that. Said so they don't have that testimony. Not everybody wears out in days. Not now, go on. And then the last part of their life, God visit and show up. Tell somebody, not everybody can say he's the God. I worship the God of Abraham. Not everybody have the testimony to say, I worship the God of Jacob. Oh, Shia Basar. There is some people who worship the God of Isaac. You see, Isaac was not like Jacob. No, Isaac was not a liar. I no, want one half lie in tell. Yes, and when he tell a lie, they got to show. Yes, you read it? Yes, sir. The man tell a lie, say, I'm a sister. Yes, sir. And the man stay through the window and see him hug up and kiss up the lady. And the man said, no, sir, this is a man a lie, man. Yes, yeah, and no, and no sister, them are your wife that no man can play with their sister like that. And when him do it, and the man come to me say, yeah, man, I'm a sister, man. I'm a wife, man, but just tell her that coming don't want nobody come go on like they want to kill me for you, know. That wrong again. So I double trouble. I say, you know, last week of the attack, I said, when, da when David committed sin, yes, an adult yet, to commit that sin, a whole heap of him have to commit. Because yes, he have to covet him and yes, wife sir. first. I want difference in that. Yes, and then he have got teeth him and wife. And then when done, when the man him have got hit him man and trick him man and want junk him man, oh that sin when him come in. and then he want give man jack. Let's have church, please. You see, I'm all that in your mind. You say, let's go back to service. Can we go back to service now? So Isaac now, he wasn't a liar. Isaac was a gentleman. Isaac was a young boy. Yes, sir. 
from Isaac born God. Yes, sir. Where is the worshippers in here? So God now visit him as old man. God attacked him that a long time from him in a belly before him born. He get in name because he made a laugh. God said to him, Oi, your wife is going to have a baby. And the woman is 90. No, the woman is 88. How much? And here God to him. You see, next year, then time I may come. Wife with baby. She start laugh. And I said, oh, what kind of sickness? A old woman like me. And God said to him, say, why your wife in there laugh? Like it, there's anything impossible with me. And she catch her breath and said, no, mommy, not laugh. <laughs> Lie again. And she, baby born, give him the name laughter. That's what Isaac means. Laughter. Oh, touch anybody, say, God will make you laugh. Shia Basa. I mean, ridiculous laugh. God will just make you boss out a laugh. God will make you laugh before. I wonder if there's any Christian in here. You never know, say, I can't laugh too. You never know. There is a worship us. Some people, some people are Christians so much that they can't laugh. I squeeze the laugh. What's your name? I said, laugh, man. It's not a sin to laugh. And God will make your boss out a laugh. And you know, you know? God made me laugh since night. You know? And since night, God made me laugh. I lie down on the bed and watch preacher. They must set up a room and I put up curtain. And I just lie down and just rest back and laugh. Yes. Like last week, me just laugh Friday, Bishop. Friday, me laugh. Because you have a certain institution we target me. Yes, sir. And then just always give me something big. <laughs> Read through the lines. That come with me. Yes, sir. And then they target me big. And God did tell me one time, said they might come down to me. They must move around over and they must come down to And God tell me one time, say, so you got to ask them and they cannot be found. Hallelujah. Yeah, you hear me, Bishop? And God tell me that. And so, so, yeah, that me attack, God make you laugh, laugh. Yeah. Now, when me look, I me see some people by my whole step. Hold on. The people that made up on my whole step in the Bishop. Me want to talk to them. You see when me want to talk to them, see what they do. Church we have, please. When me want to talk to them, me, so, me just say something. And when me say something, dangerous. So when me attack, them I record. And go so. So me talking in English and when them are listening to me say them are hearing a Spanish. And them just and then them just talking a Spanish. And when they give me the phone and English me hear. That's where technology gone. Translator. Where is the wireless? Let's have some church, man. Come on, man. And when me see it, me look and see my name the France of Par. Come par. Be a hostap. They can't even talk for me language. But God send them from and bring them come. Look at some church, man. And 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 then say, then they sit there where they used to give me. Then there's something that we don't use to give me. Oh, touch your neighbor, say neighbor. When God done with you, you're going to bust out a laugh. Here is the worshipers. Touch your neighbor, say Isaac. Come on, no man. This kind of time. We want to have a little church, no man. Touch your neighbor, say Isaac, me laughter. It means when God. 
show up in your life. You just put your hand by you. <laughs> you just laugh. You just you hear about flashback. God just give one flashback and you just laugh. Hold on. All right. I mean, like, can you tell her when, oh, God, can't make a laugh? You see me? All right, so since evening. Yes, sir. I don't eat nothing since the evening. Yes, sir. I dig, I dig, she has some food, come give me. Come here, dig, come tell me. I dig, she has some food, come give me. After six, after six, after seven. You know them time there? To seven. When dig, carry food, come give me to seven. Bishop, I don't remember, I said, I don't eat. The man called. Me. I said, "Who landed?" Come upstairs, man. Come upstairs. Come upstairs. Come upstairs. Yes, sir. Oh, I got that coming to laughter. Hey, Baker used to hug the body. Hey, you see one in the back of my yard. If you ever do want to dig up on there, something boom. Yeah, me bishop. I mean, so tin boom. You know, you know, you know, tin boom. Tin. Come on, I wish, I wish where you come from. I tell you, but you know, tin boom. I've been saying no, I tell you, no flash out. Hey, the God of Isaac. And the God will show up and turn things. And when you see it, you just laugh. Because I feel laugh are the best laugh. When God make you laugh, your enemy they laugh and stop already. Where is the worshipers, man? Come on, no man. It's kind of tight enough. Oh, shire. Can I call in the God of Isaac in this house tonight, man? Just touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor, there's something about people. You see, people, them not like to see you well. Oh, Where are the believers? Can I go in today, please? Let's have church. Tell anybody, God of Abraham is the God we show up when you're old. The God of Jacob is the God who show up when you're bad. But the God of Isaac are the one who make you laugh. Who am I talking to? He's the God that just show up and make you get the best laugh. Because the first laugh and the laugh, the laugh, laugh. Oh, Jesus, where is your worship on? Can I talk to some sisters? You know some sister? Then we have one man. Let's have some church, please. One thing with King Jesus, we preach current. That's why we are going to testify about the testimony. So, you have some sister and some brothers too. You we in our relationship with our man. And you love the man, you know? You know? And you love the woman, you know? And you realize, hey, man, I go. You know, why are you again? And you realize, hey, woman, I go. She know, why are you again? And your ball, your beg, your plea, and your can do nothing. You know? And you see when him I go, him I laugh. <laughs> Come on, let's have some church, the God of Isaac, man. Come on, the man. Touch your neighbor, say the God of Isaac, Bishop, I talk about tonight. And me say, when him I go, him I laugh. You don't know me at that, but how should I go to Kingston? Them, them. Church members in Bonia never have that experience. So let's go back to Kingston. When I go to Kingston, I England, I preach it. Let's, let's change the subject. Huh? 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 I, I mean, say, when she a go, she a laugh. When him a go, him a laugh. And when him a laugh, you a cry. And then fiend friend, them a laugh. And for your enemy, them a laugh. And them a say, yeah, him a not burn him. <laughs> They not stop laugh. No, no, you, you lose your job. Them a laugh. Co worker a laugh. Manager a laugh. Come on, the man, where is the worshippers? And while them a laugh, them no know say God have better in Where is the worshippers, man? It's kind of flat in a man. It's kind of flat. So when them gone, 
when you lose your job lose your man lose your wife lose your husband lose your business and the enemy you laugh god just said hold on make them laugh no stop them from laugh video them a laugh selfie when them a laugh and you are crying selfie your tears who am i talking to and why them a laugh make them laugh because when god get ready to make you laugh oh shia you know hear me me say one when god ready to make you laugh when that demand they gone and god you the right one oh sha. i mean when you lose that the job there oh shia i mean when the business crash where is the worshippers, man? It's kind of a little bit flat, you know. Oh, this your neighbor. Say, neighbor. When that door closed, and them a laugh for you, and them a conference, them a them mock, them cheer, them laugh. Where is the worshippers, man? Why them a laugh? God has said, my child, wrong door and in order for the right one to open i got to allow the lock the next one the first one to slam in your face oh shia oh touch your neighbor say neighbor when god go and give you one double door god make it 36 inch door short where is the worshipers come on no man where is the believers you see when god want you to laugh yes, sir. Come on, take your time. watch this take your time. when god want you to laugh yes. God now take one 36 inch door. And you want 37 inch door. Tell him about no, look too close. Where is the worship? Six feet. Come on, no man. Oh, touch your neighbor. Say, God now do that. Because that now gonna make you laugh. You know what kind of door God got here? You know what kind of door God got here? When it take 36 inch. When it take 36 inch, you know what kind of door I'm here? Let me no, sir, let me tell you. You ever got airport? You ever, you ever got airport? You ever got sunset airport? When you reach that door? Automatic. We reach the worshippers. You better open your mouth in here. Now. And when you see it, you have to laugh. Because God take with that. Then you go someday. Figure your press button. Where is the worshippers, man? Where is the warrior? Oh, slap your neighbor says, stop crying over spill milk. Because God have to make that go on for the better one to come. So stop worrying about where you lose. Stop worrying about the door is shut. God have to shut the door to prove eyes of God to you. Who am I talking to? It's kind of tight. You know? Can I go in a little bit, please? For the Bible said, Isaac, he was in a place and there was famine. And because famine was in the place, he wanted to do what his daddy did. Because when famine in the land, Abraham left the land and went to Egypt. No famine again. And Isaac won't leave. And God said, Isaac, don't leave the land. Stay right here. Oh, sure. Can I talk to King Jesus Pentecostal Fellowship? Can I talk to King Jesus Pentecostal Fellowship? Can you turn to four people and prophesy to them? Just look them dead in the eyeball and say, stay in the land. Famine might in the land, but stay in the land. You cannot bloom where you're not planted. Stay in the land. Somebody let me hear one voice note, Bishop, and the person I say, the person I said they might leave the church because things don't hold them want to be happen. Oh, touch your neighbor, say family didn't want to left. Where you are go? If, ask your neighbor, where you are go? You are idiot. Shia <laughs> yeah, Basa. How you gonna leave the promised land? I'm gone in Egypt. You are idiot. Stay in the land. Where is the worshippers? Touch two people and tell them stay. Where God plant you. Oh, sha, where you, where you uproot yourself because you don't like what going around you. Stay right here. Stay right here. God said to Isaac, no move. Stay. Oh, sha, where is the warrior? This guy in a tight man. Throw your head back and say, stay. Come on, Isaac. Isaac, God say, Isaac. Don't move. Somebody take two minutes and say, don't 
move. God have you covered. Don't move. Where are the worshipers in here? Somebody says, stay in the land. Don't move. We know, we know God already. Where the carpet set to the floor. We know the carpet set to the floor, don't. <laughs> My sister, Bishop. I have a sister in New York named Sonia. She lives in Brooklyn, New York. And when we were living in Sig when we were living in Sigur Street, she was there. She used to send me to shop. The shop is owned by a man we call Marsh Charlie. So my sister would send me to Marsh Charlie shop and said, Danavan, go over Marsh Charlie and buy two pounds of sugar and two Kool-Aid. Two what? You know, called Quenchy Kool-Aid. Yes, mm -hmm. So when we go buy the two quenchy and the two pound of sugar, I always look on the back of the Kool-Aid. Because on the back of the quenchy, they always have a little riddle around there. So you have a riddle and the answer upside down. So there's a riddle women never forget. The riddle say, what does the carpet say to the floor? Oh, Shia. Tell me about that's what God said to Isaac. The same thing where the carpet said to the floor is the same thing where God said to Isaac. God said famine in the land, but don't move. The carpet said to the floor, don't move, I've got you covered. Touch two people and say, God plant you, yeah? Don't uproot yourself. <laughs> Stay where you are planted. Come on, because if you stay where you are planted, you will bloom where you are planted. Somebody throw your head back. Open your mouth. And the Bible said that God now said to him, don't move. Stay where you are. Famine is in the land, but don't go nowhere just stay where you are and the bible said that isaac stayed and isaac sowed in that land oh shire i come with a rhema road for somebody you know you better touch your neighbor say neighbor sow in that land yes. nobody take your seed and go sow it over there so you are idiot do it like Isaac. The same land where God put you. So you see that. Oh, shy. You have some people in a. Them a feed a King Jesus. King Jesus had a man in noon and night. And then God saw a telly. You know, telly Eva. Tell evangelist, man. You know what I mean? Then God saw a Africa. God saw a foreign. Come on, no man preacher. You don't want a preacher where preacher the truth. You know that preacher was afraid to tell her truth. Where is the worshippers? Oh, touch your neighbor and say, do it like Isaac. Let Isaac God show up in your life. So, in the land, where is the worshippers? You know, say, I want truck. You know, say, God says, so in I want truck. So, what you want to sow around this, over this, around this, up. So, in the land, where is the worshippers? It's kind of tight. Where is the worshippers? And the Bible said, and then Isaac sowed in that land and received the same year and a hundredfold. I want you to turn to your neighbor and tell them in the same year the harvest are going to break out. Touch your neighbor and tell them the year is not done yet. Your miracle is still possible. Can I find 10 people in here? Can open your mouth and prophesy. Open your mouth and declare the year is not done yet. My miracle is on the way. My hundredfold is on the way. My breakthrough is on the way. It's kind of flat. Somebody don't like them kind of preaching. Here. But touch your neighbor. Say neighbor. God says to tell you don't give up. Sue one time. Sue two time. In the book of Ecclesiastes. Chapter 9 verse 10. It says, cast your bread upon many waters. Sow seven times. 
sow it your time because you don't know which one of the seed shall give you that harvest because you have some canker worm palm worm locusts will eat up seed and you might sow one seed tonight and canker worm eat up that seed you might throw one seed next week and locusts eat up that seed. The wise man Solomon said, You don't know which one of the seed is going to catch. So, sow seven eight time and watch God. Isaac sowed, and the Bible said, In the same year, Isaac received a hundredfold. You better touch your day, but tell them the year is not done yet. 68 days left to go. There is the warriors in here, man. I said, touch three people and tell them 68 days left. And God said to tell you, your miracle is still possible. Anything God prophesy at the beginning of the year, God said to tell you, the year is not done yet. Your miracle, what God tell you, your business, the year is not done yet. What God tell you, your visa, the year. It's not done yet when God tell your wife, your husband. The year is not. Open your mouth and say something. Famine in the land, but God give them an hundredfold. You know, hear me say, Mr. Famine in the land, but he received an hundredfold. In other words, when God ready to bless you, God now look on the, the country economy. You know, hear me. When God ready for bless you, God now look for one and go on our country. I know money now run. Uh, touch your neighbor, say, God now watch that. Come on, tell your neighbor, God now watch that. Your daddy can supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. Where is the preachers? Preachers, I'm here to you tonight. Come on, tell somebody the same year. God now wait till the next year. God bless the man right in the midst of famine. Anybody feel like famine in the land, but a breakthrough is coming your way. Famine in the land, but a shift is coming. Famine in the land, but a opening is coming. Famine in the land. Shaya. Yeah, Messiah, I feel it. I feel a break through. I feel a break out. I feel a break free. Somebody throw your head back. If you feel something, a shift is in the atmosphere. A healing is in the atmosphere. A break through is in the atmosphere. Come on. If it is your time, throw your head back. The same here. Take two minutes and say something. I said, take two minutes and say something. Is there anybody believe a breakthrough is coming? Anybody believe a break free is coming? Anybody believe a breakout is coming? God now watch famine. God can bless in the midst of famine. God can bless in the midst of drought. God can watch in who no one, who like you, who no like you. When God get ready. And I. And the Bible says that the man works great. I want to talk to the church of the living God. Give me five more minutes, please. Thursday night, Kingston will continue this message. It's a series, and you know that. Shia Basa. The man works great. Anytime God hand upon you. God, I go enlarge you. Shia Basa. I hear the testimony of a great missionary. Run, come and shake my hand, missionary. Run, run come and shake my hand. Your testimony have to be in my book. I have a book name, the book of testimonies, and your name and your picture must travel the whole globe. If Missionary Young should tell you how she start. She start out with some mangoes. Just a few mangoes. Missionary Young start out with. And Missionary Young have everything where, where she want. God bless her. Her house is about 13, 13 rooms. 
Holy, but in a 13 or 16 bedroom in our house. Three story building. Where is the worshippers in here? She has vehicles. Two businesses. Don't look at me like that. God said. The man saw. And God release a hundredfold. And the man walks great. Went forward. Grew until he became very great. Great. For he had positions of flocks. Position of herds. And a lot of workers working for him. Hands in the air. But never forget this. The reason why I go to the God of Isaac is this. Because the Bible said, and the Philistines envied him. Anytime God begins to bless you, look out for the spirit of envy. You're riding a bicycle. They will accept you. Taking taxi to church. They will love you. But if God ever bless you with a vehicle, they will accept. If you have a 110, they will congratulate you. If you drive a They will accept you if you drive an AD wagon. They will shake your hand. And they will smile with you because you're driving an AD wagon. But if you ever drive something better than theirs, look out for the spirit of I come to preach to Isaac. I come to preach to Isaac. Oh, Shia. I come to preach to Isaac for the Bible said that they envied Isaac. Because God bless him a hundredfold. If it was a thirtyfold blessing, they love him. If it was a sixtyfold, they would handle it. You realize they, were, they weren't there when the man was sowing. Oh, can you talk to four people and tell them, you don't know my seed. You don't even know when God talked to me and tell me what to sow. I may obey what God said. And now God bless me a hundred fold and your vex. Me and you go to the same church. We go to the same altar. It's where we go to throw down, throw down. We offering. Where is the worshippers in here? And you like key and throw down an offering. But me pull it from my belly. And me have to close my eye when me are sweat. Oh, shire. And God have respect to my offering. God have respect to my seed. And God bless me a hundredfold. And now you are envying me. Shire, basa. Come with me. I want to talk to the church of God. Come with me. The Bible said that. They come to him. Abimelech come and say to Isaac, I want you to leave yourself. Leave, man. Because you are mightier than us. I want king to say it. The king had turned to the man. And I say, you're greater than us. Go on. Move far on us. You see, when God's hand is really on you, I know that, you know. So, when, when I preach this, you know, I say, God, you are Isaac. God, you are God of Isaac in my life, you know. Because me, I ride bicycle. And God bless me with my X6 from bicycle up there. My friend, them, we used to come on me and come pray all night. Where is the worshippers, man? I say, my friend, them. When me and them pray all night, when me look, prayer meeting at night time become empty. Where is the worshippers? 
And I call me a kind of name. Can't hang Oh, touch your neighbor. Say, if God is going to bless you, big. Look out for what Bishop is preaching to you tonight. Shia Basa. Come on, I want to talk to you, no man. Isaac. God sent me to you. Isaac. Shia Basa. Can I preach to the church of God in here? Shia Basa. The Bible said that. And Isaac depart thence. In other words, you know, it's in there, I say, God, I bless you. And some people start turn against you. Don't, don't push up on them. Stop ringing their phone. Stop going to them place. And just stay by yourself and worship your God. When they start, when they tell us, we don't want you to have a company again. Nobody cry. It's a blessing and something good God I do for you. Where is the worshippers, man? Come on, no man. Talk to me, no man. You come for a word from God. Let me preach to you, man. And let me go. A little bit closer. Watch me. And some persons, you're in a relationship for 15, 20, 17, 100 years. And God start bless you. And all of a sudden, the next person can't stand your blessing. I mean, all right, let me switch it to one different level. Go and look closer. I mean, you and your children then. And all of a sudden, you as a son, God start bless you, the son. And when you look, mama turn against you. Or daddy turn against you. Or your sister not like you again because of the blessing. God said, move your trench. Move your trench. Put your tent somewhere else. You're coming with me if they cannot handle your blessing. Oh, Shia Basaya. Where is the worshippers? Mr. Ben can't stand your blessing. Do what Isaac do. Don't push upon them. You're coming with me, warriors. Help me now, man. I want to go in tonight. And come on, touch your neighbor. So let's go in a little bit deeper, Bishop. Because now the Bible said that. Glory to God that. Hallelujah. Isaac, dig again. Who am I talking to? You better reach your neighbor, say neighbor. Anytime you see friends can't stand what God are doing in your life. Don't let because of what they are doing or saying stop you from digging deeper. Who am I? Work harder. Who am I preaching to man? Hold on to your neighbor, say neighbor, dig again. If them turn them back on you, don't give up. Don't let go not throw in the towel keep on digging Shire. I feel a shift you better touch your neighbor say, when they obey you when they throw a kind of witchcraft to hold your dung don't stay down dig again if the car crash try again buy another one where is the worshippers? If the business running a bankruptcy, don't give up. Start again. Where is the worshippers? My God, because you see, anytime you start, go up. Look out for this. Let me read. The Bible said that. They start to dig. They run away, man, you know. They don't want him man only because I bless him, God, I bless him. They don't want to be your friend no more, you know. They don't want any company no more, you know. They don't want, but when nothing about that go on for you, they have you down, you know, man, and I walk by you and I chat you. And I, and I deal with it like you have nothing, and now God start lift you up. Where is the worshippers, man? Come on, no man, let's have some church in here. But the Bible said that they dig and found a well. Shia Basaya. 
Oh, touch your neighbor, say neighbor. Dig until you find a well. Who am I talking to? Am I not going to the well too, too much in the well tonight? You know? We'll save the well for another time. But tell your neighbor, dig until you find your well. Oh, shy. Come on, tell your neighbor, big, dig, man, dig until you find your well and the bible says when they find the well the bible says that the herds men of gehar strive with the herds men of isaac over the well what what blows my mind bishop the bible said that isaac Give the name of the well. The same name that Abraham gave. So that simply means that uh, Abraham name is her. That means that Abraham got to the same fight. Huh? Because the name of the well is Isaac. And the word Isaac means Quarrel, dispute. You're coming with me. So, Isaac, then dig and dig and dig and then see water come up. And when they see the water, then dig and dig and dig and realize that, oh, but no, Father Abraham, well, this. So, the man they have fresh water clean water. Water spring up. And the whole town now start come and say, hey, yo, yo, yo. Anybody that come and say, we get water for peer. This place, this, 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 this well day, I be years and I know not no see them. This well day here, Abraham, have a well and own a true dirt. And stop up the well. And no, not own no have a heart. We come, 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 dig out the well. But all of a sudden, now, since we come and dig out the well, the water I don't want. Where's the verse? They never see when you are suffering, no, Bishop. Bishop, they never see when you are tiling. No. Bishop, uh, uh, 13 years, no, 12 years, you are take bus got on. Evangelist, make not stand up and wave your hand. Because 17 years ago, how much? 17 years ago, me and Ella Mullins, Brother Spence, and Pastor, Pastor Hills, go to a, a dinner. And right around the dinner table, Bishop, they said, Pastor Baker, that time my brother Baker, and they call me Pastor Baker. They said, Pastor Baker, can you bless the dinner? And Bishop, I get up with everybody and I start prayer. When may I bless the dinner? Will they go show me somebody over there so and show me who's part they sick? And me just get up and we are praying and just stop and say, You having a pain in such and such a place? And the person say, Yes, sir. And me just go and start praying for the person. And when I pray for the person, God show me somebody else on the table. And me go over there so I start prophesying. Y'all hear me? Yes, and guess what? No. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Me. Pray for people then, and we go back home. Mm -hmm. You see, in next Monday, then call and say, Pastor Baker, you know, say some persons hear about the testimony and ask if you can come back up tomorrow, which is Tuesday. Absolutely. Because they want prayer. Mm -hmm. We go back the following Tuesday. You so we go back to follow and choose the amount of person with their nine horse. <laughs> and remember, we don't have no drum. No. We don't have no keyboard. No. We don't have no mic. No. And Pastor Baker just hold her and we sing. Yes, and we sing and then Pastor Baker start prayer. And Holy Ghost just. Mm -hmm. And Pastor Baker just walk over and start prophesy. Prophesy. Lay your hands. Next Tuesday. My God, we're not looking at even dear.
when they look from top of the road to bottom of the road, the amount of care. Where is the worship as in here, man? My God, that was 17 years ago. Where is the worshipers? And from that time until today, where is the worshipers? And some now are trying about them late. Some are fighting about them late. Because they must see, they must see the big church on Red Hills Road. And then look on Facebook and see 10 baptized this week, dozen next week, eight next week, 12 next week. 11 next week on a fight. But where were they when we were digging the well? They weren't around. No, them see that and a fight that. But I stop by to tell you what is this? This is Rehobahat. You are late. You should have go fight with Isaac. Who am I talking to, man? Can I go in, please? Touch your neighbor, say, neighbor. Dig your well. And, her, and when them fight you well, they're gonna fight you well with what? With dispute. Anybody. God bless. As long as your blessing be, look out, Isaac. Abraham, near me and left it. You hear me, Bishop? Abraham, near me and leave it. And Isaac, come and redig it. And the wicked people them start fighting man over it. And the man, well, well, can I go in on that? If any man will live God in this present world, look out. Look out. Look out. Blessed are he when men revile you and persecute you and say all man of evil against you for all if a mind you see it. Rejoice. Don't murmur. Don't cry. Do like Isaac. Oh, Shia, dig again. Who am I talking to? Can I go in, please? They strove with him. They dispute. Come on, somebody. They come. Anytime somebody have wealth, look out for dispute. Anytime God bless you with wealth, look out for strife. Look out for quarrel. What am I preaching to man? Tell your neighbor, quarrel come with wealth. Strife come with wealth. Can, uh, somebody said, strife come with wealth. Wealth brings quarrel and dispute. Wealth bring envy. If you think I like me, I tell drive past 13 Sigma Street and you will know. Jesus, where is your worship as man? All right, next week you will get that peace. Come on, whenever God blesses you, the world hates you. He that have a near to hear, let him hear. I mean, bad mind people, I'm in a church team. No matter things are sin alone, me at all. Where is your worship as? Let's walk. The man just walk or left them. Touch your neighbor, say, walk or left them. Then I want you to the company because of what God is doing in your life. Walk with them. I, I could have one brother, or sister, or cousin, or just lead them and just go and dig. Where is the worship? Tell somebody, dig another well. Oh, Shia Basa, where is the worshipers? Where is the warriors in here, man? I was at a certain place, you know, as a pastor. And God said, man, go dig another well, man. Go dig another well. Me make sure that I talk, me no one, nobody come with me. You know, you hear me? Yeah. Because if God tell me to leave right here and go dig another well, I don't look for the amount of summer when I preach out. Because I will take five years to preach out this amount of crowd. Yes, and just because I obey God, God, one day I me, 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 me preach out ten times this amount. Just because I obey that. Where is the worshippers in here, man? Someone said, dig another well, not strive over it. Make them fight and take it. Where is the worshippers? It's kind of flat, man. Too tight. Too tight. I was doing a business with somebody, you know. And the person tricked me. Thinking tricked me. And the person take my money. Three million dollars. And instead of the person give over the money, the person take the money for themselves. And then when the person done, the person hold on, pan, 
be taken. And God said, give another way. You're a Christian. You don't carry people to court. Dig another well. Where is the worshippers in here, man? Come on, no man. Touch your neighbor. Say, take your last, man. You don't even go to court. Go, go, go. Trash out nothing. Man, then go on with it. Your daddy is the God of Isaac. Where is the worshippers? Isaac just walk and left them with Isaac. If a, if a dispute and quarrel and strive over it, take you and go on. Because I know, I know that are the blessing. Now, me are the blessing if you never know that. Where is the worshippers? Say something, no man. Come your mouth and say something now. Come on, touch your neighbor. Say that's not the blessing. The blessing not here. The blessing is on me. He said, anywhere me got the blessing, I go. Where is the worshippers? Say something. So Isaac, dig another well. And the Bible said that the name of that well was Sitna. Oh, Shia. Somebody says, sit now. It, that is the word meaning hatred. Uh, hostility. You have some people, you know. Yes, so when they see the hand of God is on your heavy. It's a good time to talk this now. Hold on there. Let me first talk to the persons who are close to me. You know, say Bishop Baker, they call up a man. Bishop, I'm me, they call up a man. Ella Mullins, I'm me, they call up a man. So, one of them, me, up a man, you don't think you would know? Yes, sir. With the land of Romari and the local boy, then, if me, they call up a man, you don't know, must know. Come on, let's get up. Who's the worshippers? Nathaniel, if me, up a man, you wouldn't have to know. Oh, good. If me other man you think you know that you don't have to know. For number one, Bishop always lie down. Asleep. Where is the worship? Asleep. Is there anything that goes on you don't see you know? Where is the worship as in here? Oh, touch your neighbor and say, all the truth. But guess what? I want to make a thing say they might call me other man. Hold on. Can I tell you who I said? Let me tell you who I said. People who were covet were the problem. A people who were see giving at me. I knew say God I use me. I them a fight me. I them a call me those names. Why? Somebody said because of covetousness. Come on, no man. Where is the worshippers? Where is the warriors? Uh, after church Sunday. A liar came to me and said, I have a dream to tell a bishop. Bishop, please, I know you're tired and you're going back to Westmoreland to preach. But I got a dream today and I must tell you. And the liar came in the office. Liar, Holy Ghost filled, fire baptized. And the liar said to me, I have my laptop before me. Your life was on. And I was waiting to come to church. And I fell asleep. And in the midst of my sleep, when I look, I saw you in the middle. I saw your church members on that side. You were praying, and the church members were praying. And when I look over this side, I saw some men in their 40s and their 50s. They have on white robes. Gones, right, white gones with some red thing around it. And they were stretching their hands. And the lawyer said, they were saying, your gift must not manifest. Your gift must not manifest. Your gift must not manifest. When she said, my heart moves. Because I know that the thing they covet me for is the abilities in the spirit. They hate me just because of the gift of God in my belly. Where is the worshippers? Touch your neighbor. Say, me know that I shoot, you know. 
they call the name of the well Sitna because of the level of hatred and hostility that these people stir up against the man of God because of the gift that comes from his father. Shia Basaya. We are the believers. You better come with me and I want to talk to you. Now. Because as long as you're gifted, you, know, you must go through with me and talk. Isaac God is the God that bless you big. And it's stir up hatred. Oh God, can I talk about wealth? Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, wealth. <laughs> Come on, dear. If this is the problem associated with wealth, yes. quarrel, strife, hatred, hostility, yes. that is what comes with wealth. Sit now. Hostility, hatred. These are the problem that is associated with wealth. Come on, somebody say money, 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 money. You know the amount of families. Come on. You know the amount of family we have a family problem. Ah, Jesus. Come on, come on, man. Touch your neighbor. Say that. Come on, touch and say, that's the true bishop. How many families you know that go to court over wealth? Come on, man. Over properties. Touch somebody, tell them over wells. Over properties. Over water. Somebody said, water right. Come on, no man. Help me out here, no man. Come on, somebody said, water right. Wealth. Money is called currency. No? Mr. Banker, you know, money, they call money currency in cash flow. A flow, they call it liquid. Come on, them say, money rinse. Ah, money wash. Where is the worshippers? Oh, touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor, anytime wealth come, look out for hostility. Look out for the spirit of hatred. And anywhere the spirit of hatred is, there is a spirit of murder. So you don't be fool. God, we are give your wealth over this side and somebody beside you I plan your death. Just to get your wealth. Who am I talking to? You better get radical in here. And say preach to me bishop. Preach to me bishop. We are talking about church now. You know about that church. I fight church. Only because this is a church. Yeah, begin to pour in. God begin to pour wealth in the church. Because God begin to put wealthy people in the church. Because God begin to flow water in the church. Where is the worshippers in here? Man, open your mouth and say something, no man. Say something, no man. Where is the worshippers? But God said, left them with it. Them a fight over a piece of land. Give them it, man. Go on. Come on, no man. Help me, no man. Where is the worshippers in here? Miss, if them a fight over a position, give them it. If them a fight you, I say, I want this a position. Yeah, get up off a chair. And just sit there. Take it if I hit your want. If I office your want, take it. Where is the worshippers, man? Home your mouth, no man. Where are the believers in here? Come here with a word from God, you know. Just lefty. Somebody that sit now. Come on, say sit now. Mm, them are quarreling, hate you. Them are strife. Them does not like you because uh, of the shoes where you are wearing look like a welt. You know, some people just put on some man when they put on it. You have on here and you look like an old book. And them have on the same thing. And somebody said, who is that, Miss World? Who is that, Mr. President? Who is that, uh, Mr. Bush, that over there? Uh, why your name again? You know how much time they do me that Della Mullins? <laughs> Sometimes I walk and people say, oh, what's your name again? And I said, why you ask? They said, who are you? Are you a public figure? Who are you? You're an entertainer. Who are you? You know, Bishop, can you just carry something for you? And where you care for you, you're just, you're, you're just dignified. Where you care for you, sure, somebody say, wear it. That's why you got to fake it before you make it. You know, wait till God gave the care. You 
I can walk like a driver. You just walk, drive. Who am I talking to? No, wait till God give you a house. Walk with all your keep on your waist. Where is the worshippers in here? All right, me not mean no pride. Don't get me wrong, please. Come on, touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor, walk it. Walk it, man. Walk it. If God tell you a pastor, now wait till Bishop come and say, Pastor, walk your pastor anointing. Who am I talking to? If God say, I'm going to use you. If God say, you're a bishop. If God say, you're a businesswoman. If God say, you are the head. Now walk like the tail. Somebody take two minutes, the man, and say something in here, you know? Somebody take two minutes and say something, the man. Touch your neighbor, say, dig another well, man. Walk away and left them. Come out of your house and give them. Where is the worshiper? Not the church, though. For when you come out to the church, God said, don't move. Who am I talking to? Come on, touch your neighbor, say, that don't mean the church. The church are where you plant. So God not tell you to run from where you plant. He fixed that from verse 1 already and said, don't move. But when it comes on to wealth, when it comes on to God blessing you, and somebody will fight your feet, walk away and leave it. Because they might take the blessing, but they can't take the blesser. Who am I talking to? Tell five people that. Tell them, take the blessings. As long as I have the blesser, I can walk and leave it. Who am I talking to? Ten people, no man. How about a little church in here, no man? Ten people, no man. You can take the blessing. And I'll keep the blesser. That's good. You can take the blessing. But the blesser is mine. Somebody take two minutes. Because the next move, the devil can't push you out of that. The next move, the devil can't take that from you. The next move, where are the sisters? Touch your Jesus, touch another sister and say, When God gave your husband, you don't have to worry about him because he loves you so much. He don't have time to look for nobody. Who am I talking to? Where is the worshippers in here, man? Open your mouth and say something, no man. When God gave you that wife. You don't have to worry about no man of trouble your wife because your wife loves you so much. Them have we call her home muffet because she don't have eyes for nobody yet. Where is the worshippers in here, man? This kind of tight, too tight, man. All right, can we go to a message now? Just read your message now. Can we go to the message now? Reach your neighbor now and say, we just reach your message. And the message goes something like this. Your robot is on the way. And none of them can stop. Your robot, none of them can block. Where is the worshippers? Throw your head back and put a praise on that part. Open your mouth and give God a stronger praise. Open your mouth and tell somebody your robot is on the way. Dig, dig, dig. Who am I talking to? Somebody said, dig, 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 dig. Come on. Name this well. Tell somebody, name this well. Open your mouth and name this one. This one is Rehoboth. Come on. This one is the Lord who has given it to me. Rehoboth means room. God is making room. And we will flourish in this land. Come on, go back to them again. Touch your neighbor one more time. I said, neighbor. That's why you can't run. You're not for run. Because God wants your enemy see. You're a hobart. And if you ever run, your enemies can't see it. And God want them see. He want to prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. So God said, no move. Right in at this little piece of land here. God is going to flourish you. God is going to make some room for you. Somebody throw your head back. Come on, where is the worshippers? I come to tell somebody that your robot is on the way. Come on. Robot mean wide spaces. It means more room. I am here to tell you tonight that the Lord is bringing us more space.
face. Who am I talking to? My God. You better slap three people and tell them more is coming. It's the season of more. You know that I read this text four different services and couldn't preach it. God said, Time just come. Tell the neighbor more. more. Rehoboth mean more. Tell somebody more are come. More room. More joy. More happiness. More money. More peace. More rest. More hope. More love. More understanding. More wisdom. More knowledge. Somebody said more is coming. More, more, more. The land of more. So keep on digging. Drag somebody, tell them keep on digging. For God is about to release more. Keep on digging. Tell somebody, say dig, dig, dig. Come on. We have 68 days left. Dig. I said we have 68 days left. Keep on digging. Dig like a fool. Dig like it make no sense. Come on, somebody shout and say I'm digging. You can't stop me from digging. How do I dig, Bishop? Dig by praying. Dig by worshiping. Dig by fasting. Dig by reading and studying the word. Somebody said, dig. Keep on digging. Keep on digging. Your robot is about to hit you. Keep on digging. Just stay focused. Just stay faithful. Just stay holy. Just stay in the word. Your robot is about to overtake you. Somebody open your mouth. Don't give up. Don't give in. Don't let go. Keep on trusting. Keep on holding. Keep on digging. Your robot is on the way. Somebody get radical. The year is not done yet. Your miracle is still possible. Somebody start dig again. Them are true dirt, but dig. Them are true earth, but dig. Them are use words to stop you, but dig. Keep on digging. Dig until a burst out take place. A bursting out of water is on the way. A gush of water is about to hit you. Dig. 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 Somebody said dig. Somebody said dig. Dig. It's about to gush out. Dig. A spring is about to be discovered. Dig. A spring of water is coming. Dig. It's springing up. It's springing up. It's springing up. It's springing up. In everlasting life. Dig. Where are the warriors in here? Where are the worshippers in here? Throw your head back and dig. Throw your head back and dig. No more. No more. No more. Struggles. No more. Just start to dig. Your overflow is about to take you. Dig. Your abundance. Your hundredfold. Your white spaces, your white street, your white room. Somebody dig. I know they're throwing dirt, but the more they throw the dirt, take the shovel and shovel it out. Shovel it out. Shovel it out. Shake it off your shoulder. Trample it under your feet. You're getting higher and higher. The more they throw dirt, you're getting higher and higher. The songwriter says, Lord, lift me up and let me stand. Thy plane from heaven, stable land, a higher plane than thou have found. Lord, plant my feet. Somebody's going higher. Somebody's getting higher. Somebody dig again. Up me a mouth. Where is the shovel? Where is the shovel? When they lie on you, shovel it out. When they persecute you, shovel it out. When they order you, 
shovel it out. Oh, Shanda, Yamashaya. Yeah, somebody's getting higher tonight. Somebody's getting deeper tonight. There's a shift taking place. There's an overflow. Shaya Masa. There's an overflow. There's an overflow. Rohobat. Rohobat. More spears. More glory. More power. More gifts. More anointing. More. Shaya Masa. Ya Masaya. Ya Papa. Somebody get ready, cut. Rub me a mouth. 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 An overflow is about to hit somebody. Rub me a mouth. The robot is about to touch somebody. Overflow. Show your head back. Shia. Shanda. Yamama sa. Yapapapapasa. Shanda basaya. Yamama sa. Where are the warriors? Hands on. Remember this now. Everybody was in the land. Touch somebody, tell them everybody's in church. Everybody was in the land. The wealth was among everybody. Shaya basa. Oh, tell your neighbor the wealth, the overflow, the breakthrough, the anointing. The glory, the power is among everybody. Yes. But not everybody's gonna dig. Oh Shia. Shanda. Yamasaya. Isaac. 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 God said dig. When am I shy with your dig? When them hate you dig, when them persecute you dig, when they obey you dig, when them bite you dig, when them fight you dig, come on, dig until the water gush. Come here. Shayabasa. Stand up here. Shayabasaya. Shaya. Come here. Shayabasa. Stand beside your wife. I want the boat that you look at me now. I want the boat that you look at me. Shia. Look at me. I want the boat that you look at me. There is a demon fighting your ministry. There's a demon fighting your ministry. The demons don't want the boat that you to be together. The demons want to separate you because the demons say, if I get you by yourself, I can destroy you. And if I get you by yourself, I can destroy you. But tonight, it's a night of war. It's a night of war. There are unclean spirits attacking you because of your purpose. Because of your destiny, stay focused. Stay focused. Look in my eyes. God say is your husband. Look in my eyes. God say is your wife. Let me see your finger. You have on your ring, man. Let me see your finger. Where is yours? Shaya Basai. Ahaya Basai. 
This is what God tells me to tell the boat of you. If your wife have done you anything wrong, please forgive her. If your husband have done you anything wrong, please forgive him. Look in my eyes. Because God said to tell you, the ministry that is on you is tied to your husband. The ministry that is on you is tied to your wife. So, no confrontation. God said, forgive, wipe the slate, and move on. Now, ask your husband nothing about nothing. Now, ask your wife nothing about nothing. Forgive and move on because I'm ministry sick. Don't listen to the religious folks now. Don't listen to the religious folks now. I'm giving you a kingdom principle. The harvest is truly right. God tell me that you are a pastor and you are a pastor's wife. Come here preacher. Come here. We're getting the chalk. Somebody said we're getting the chalk. And by now and next week we must have the chalk. By, by the grace of Jesus Christ our Lord. Preacher, the truck is going to St. James, man. Take a big shy of a sire. The truck is going to Montego Bay. And the Holy Ghost tell me that we're gonna raise up a church in Montego Bay with hundreds. Over a thousand men in Montego Bay. I'm setting you as the overseer in Montego Bay. You as the pastor in Montego Bay. You as the pastor's wife. That's why the demons are fighting. But today is a day of war. We are the warriors in here, man. We are the worshippers. Somebody said the devil is a liar. Marriage is honorable in all. And the bed is on the fire. Warriors, 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 warring on clean spirits. Stretch your hands towards them when I lay my hand on you. A fresh flow of the anointing shall come your way. The thing you're crying about. God said tonight, the anointing to fix that. You are angry at it. God said, when I lay my hand on you, the anointing to fix that will come your way. Shaya Basa. We are his devotion. Say something. Shaya Basa. Stretch your hands towards them now because King Jesus Pentecostal fellowship. Is coming to Montego Bay. Huh? Shia, stretch your hands towards St. James right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we speak to the parish of St. James. 
we speak to Mantigo Bay and we declare that the King Jesus Pentecostal Fellowship is coming and speak to principalities and powers. I push you back by the authority of Jesus' name. Somebody open your mouth. We command you to give way to the King Jesus Pentecostal Fellowship. Give way. Hundreds and thousands of members. Give way. Souls must be born in Montego Bay. Somebody start to plead the blood. Shia. Yeah, Messiah. Yeah, pa, 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 sir. Somebody open your mouth, shut your hands towards them. Ooh. When you say Jesus, a fresh flow of the anointing. Come on, why you stretch your hands? After Ooh. three, when you say Jesus, we're pushing back that attack, that quarrel and quarrel and quarreling demon, that argumentative spirit. When we say Jesus, we're destroying that yoke. When we say Jesus, we're pushing back that fight. When we say Jesus, we're pulling down that struggle. You ready, warriors? One. Two, three, shout! What do you What do you Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I come against the demon of divorce. I come against the demon of separation. I drive him around and powerless now. Marriage is honorable. Come on for this cause. Shall mother. For shall, shall, shall you leave mother and father and cleave to your wife? Shanda, somebody say, leave and cleave. Open your mouth and plead the blood to leave and cleave. Shia Basa, Yamasaya. Somebody open your mouth. Hold on to your husband. Hold on to your husband. Hold on to your husband. Squeeze your husband. Leave and cleave. Where are the warriors in here? Let's deal with every demon. Every demon of separation. Warriors, where are you? Drive them out. Shia. My God, somebody start a war. Blood, blood. Blood, blood, blood. Where's your wife? Where's your wife? Where's your wife? Where's your wife? When you go home. Use this rug, rub your wife's face, and say, In the name of Jesus Christ, every argumentative spirit, every quarrel demon out of my house. Where are the warriors? Plead the blood, the man. Plead the blood and say, Fire. Plead the blood and say, Fire. Plead the blood and say, Fire. Every demon attacking your marriage, I drive him out now. Somebody start plead the blood. I said, drive him out. We are the marriage couple in here. Start plead the blood in your bedroom. Start plead the blood in your house. Shire feel a war. Somebody start a war. Blood and fire. Blood, blood, blood. Blood and fire, fire. We are the warriors in here, man. Open your mouth. Plead the blood and say, fire. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost, fire. Come here. Pick him up. Shia. Shanda. Mm, Shia Basa. I just see a debt again. How oh, so much debt are coming? Come, come. Plead the blood, man. The blood of Shia. Yeah, we yeah, my son. Somebody plead the blood. Start cover your loved ones. Blood, blood, blood. I want sudden death. Me just see again, you know. But it's a, it's a person we're close. So start cover your loved ones and your friends and your relatives. Just start your blood coverage. Comprehensive blood coverage. Shire. You see that? Somebody say, plead the blood and drive it. Plead the blood and start drive it out. Drive it out. Drive it. To a far country. Reverse debt. Reverse debt. Back up. Reverse. Back up, Shire. Yeah, Messiah. Yeah, Papa, sir. Somebody open your mouth and plead the blood and say fire, fire. Fire. Both of your whole hands. Look in my eyes. I need to tell the both of you this. This is what I hear the Lord says. Leave and cleave. 
What I say? Leave and cleave. For this cause shall a man leave his mother and father and cleave. I see something, you know. Last night, Sunday night, I was in church. I was in church Sunday night. And I called out local brother Leon. You remember? And I laid my hand on him. And I said to him, I'm sending him to England. His wife is in England working. And I speak over him. And Monday morning, his passport was in his hand with his visa. And by 7 p.m., he's on a plane to England. Somebody said, leave and cleave. Anytime you are married, don't allow your mother, your father, your sister, your brother to have no say in your life. Where is the worshippers? Up me a mouth, no man, and say something. Up me a mouth and say something. Push out every third party right now. Shia! Where are the marriage couple in here? I said, push out every third party. Drive them out. Oh, Shia. Shanda. You, you, you see a stiff up now? We are the stiff upon Holy Ghost. You are stiff upon Holy Ghost. You are stiff upon Holy Ghost. When you're married, God said, I thank you for you. Have your own family. Your mother have hers. Your daddy have his. Your sister have hers. Your brother have his. It's so time for your own now. Are you an idiot? Shia. Go wipe your husband's face. We reach the worshippers in here. Where is the warriors in here? Where is the worshippers in here? Touch people, tell them don't leave your land. Everything you need in your land. Where is the worshippers? Tell them don't leave your land, man. You idiot. You idiot. Everything they need in your land. Somebody lift up a rifle and put it on your land. And say, nobody can move me from here. You never hire me, say you can't fire. You can't run me out of King Jesus. Where is the worshippers? You got tired for seeing me. I know about who I run go on in. Come on. Many run go on. Any run go on. Run go on. Go long if you want. Run go on. Because you shall see. You better learn to bloom with your plant. Shire. Yes, sir. Let me say it. Where is the worshippers in here? Where is the warriors in here? Where is the worshippers in here? Anytime you get a word, always do what? Submit. Somebody say, have a sub to the mission. And where word go again? Come on, no man. Somebody say, submission. Submission is the key to your destiny. Somebody say, submission. The word sub means to go under. Where sub mean? Underneath. That means the mission always bigger than you. So you must always sub to the mission. Oh, shire. Anytime a word comes, just take it. It might hurt, but take it. It might hard, but take it. It might rough, but take it. Because God not tell you something if he never planned for you. Somebody start a wave. Wave your hands in the air and give God a praise in here. <laughs> Preacher, are you come to me and say, Bishop, me get me 10 years. No, sir. Yes, sir. 10 years. 
and wife will get 10 years. The preacher said, the preacher said, ask him some question, you know. Like they want, you know, tie up. Because they're bright people, you know. You know, they're bright people. Anytime you go before one council, especially the U.S. council, you know, I want to lie, I go before you know. So when I go before them, just be truthful. Because yes, they're wise, they have sense, they got hold for school, they're bright. Yes, so just tell them the truth and done. Where is the worship yes, So the preacher said, go before them, you know. And then, you know. You know when they would have twist and turn and pull it this up. And the preacher just made them know, said, King Jesus went to Castile Fellowship. And he said, eh? and then just, Boom, grow on the back. <laughs> what then do? Grow on the back. Grow on the back and face yes, 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 Where is the worshippers in here? I'm going to type in King Jesus. Yes, Pentecostal Fellowship. And guess who they see? Yes, then go so, bop. When they look up, preacher. Yeah. Yes, and then shift and go so much and preach up. And then shift and go on the next service. I preach. Yes, then just come back around and just make a preacher know say. Hey? Granted. Granted, boy. Oh, touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor, your blessing is tied to your ministry. Be wise. Tell two people, be wise. Lot pluck up himself and go on one side and turn a pillar of salt. Where is the worshippers in him? Where is the warriors in him? Mm. Shire hands on. Take your husband. I want you to hug your husband. Husband, I want you to hug your wife. And tomorrow, I want you to buy your wife a brand new ring. And enjoy your life. And let the devil swell become boss. Where is the worshippers in here? Where is the warrior? Somebody say something in here, man. Somebody throw your head back and put a praise on that, no man. Give me that little baby there. Bring me that little yeah. baby. Where is the worshippers? Touch somebody, tell them your blessing is tied to the land. That's where your promise is. Your promise is tied in the land. Come on, the man, say something, the man. Tell them milk and honey is in the land, man. Stay in the land. You don't need to go to Egypt to get blessings. Stay where you are planted. Hold my mic from a preacher. Bring me this baby, please. Don't worry, I can't hold them. I'm used to it. This baby, Shaya Basa. You come to church, your baby admitted. This baby was supposed to die. Yes, but you come to the Holy Ghost Church. Yes, I give you my rug. Yes, and I send you to go. You're going to just put the rug on the baby. Yes, and bring the baby to me. Because the doctor shall give you your baby. Yes, oh, yeah. Now. You don't have to tell me. I know the doctor wants you to do some tests on this baby. But listen to me now. Every test that they do will come back negative. Bring, bring the test result to me as a testimony in the book of testimonies. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Father. I give this child to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
I speak healing over this child. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, I command you to be completely healed now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody clap your hands and praise God. Somebody clap your hands and praise God. Shia. Shanda Messiah. Somebody say complete healing now. By the power of Jesus name. Somebody say plead the blood now. Somebody say plead the blood. And declare complete healing. By the power of Jesus blood. Blood, blood, blood. Shanda. Somebody help him now. Somebody help him now. Where are the worshippers? Shire. Somebody open your mouth and start a war. 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 Where is brother Josh? Where is brother Josh? Where is brother Josh? Holy Ghost, I call you. Shia, somebody start a worship. Somebody start a worship. Somebody start a worship. Stand up here, son. Somebody start a worship. Where is your wife? Shia. Ya Messiah. Shanda Messiah. Ya Messiah. Somebody open your mouth and shout again. Somebody open your mouth and shout one more praise in here. The Lord show me. The Lord show me. The Lord tell me to tell you he have a great high calling on you. There's a high calling on you. The devil is wrestling with your calling. Shia Basa. Where is the worshiper? Say something in here. Where is the warrior? Say something in here. Your wealth is not in your job. Your wealth is not in your job. Your wealth is in the favor of God. Shia Basa. Where are the warriors in here? We are the worshippers in here. We are the worshippers in here. God said to tell her, He have not forgotten you. You are not forgotten. God said, You need to fast again. Pray again. Worship again. Study again. Seek His face again. The harvest is truly ripe. Listen to me now. Like Isaac, God shall make you laugh only if you do your part. If here's a boy baby here. But God say you need to move him. If you move God, you experience the impossible. Shia Basa. God tell me this. God say to me, me for just seek him like me crazy. God said to me, just 
give me everything. And watch how me make man have a look on you. Oh. I'm a fast still to the day. Me fast and I know. Hear yeah, what I say? Yes, you know, tell me nothing for fast, you know. Me fast, I don't know. Seven o'clock, me just uh, eat and I realize I'm not eat. Eight o'clock at night, me just uh, eat and I realize I'm not eat. Because me fast still, me food. And you know what God did them? Huh? Let me tell you what God did them. God put one fever horse right here, hold them up for pass and see. No care how fool one man is. No care how a man is at school. When he see that the house, he knows he can't. I can't people offering build up. Missionary, you got to me now. Up me a mouth and ask me chuck and watch within two months what I got. Bishop, a thirteen million dollar me get within two months. You know. By the week I done, me get everything. You know. I mean, people women don't know. People women never see. People women never talk to. God just touch them and then just. This is what me do. Me let go all of the damn movements. Me. You see all Elder Mullins and them? Eh? You see Sablamar? Sablamar and me used to lock so. Yes, you never know that. No boy in a Sablamar couldn't dance like me. What am I just say? Tell the money is there. Yes, sir. So if me a line know that. Yes, when I talk about dressing and flexing, big ring, big chain. Yes, when I talk about Dan flexing. Yes, uh, 16, 17, 18, man. We are got, we are got a club and a four car load. Jungle. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You talk about me and Bogle. Me end up on uh, Black Roses Corner. Turn down. Bishop. Right now as we speak. Right now as Bishop Baker speak. If I want to do a baptism right now. I want to the biggest house in Jamaica. Yes, sir. Me just walk in the pool and go to baptism. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm talking about where me I come from. Yes, when me come to God, brother Josh. Me give up a whole of that. Just to win Jesus Christ. Me let go. The wagwan dog. Why pre? Me let go the. Me let go that. We get power from Jesus Christ. Where is the worshippers in here, man? Where are the warriors in here? Because some of you in a church and I try to hold on to that. My God. And the real one, they were in at that. I try to run out of that. My Here is the worshippers, man. Come with me, no man. Me mean, say, see me here. You know how me and Bogotan friend? Tell me I'm Bogotan friend. There was a dance. Yes, sir. And, and the dance, them have. 
Bogle and Kiva. And they have fresh boys on it. And you see when chose we are small artists. Yeah. And Bogle and Kiva yeah. are big artists. Yeah. Then put Wifi dance before Bogle and Kiva. Yeah. I tell me, I tell him I'm Bogle come from yeah. the bishop. Right tell him the hell of yeah. And when they make we dance first. And then they go make Bogle and Kiva dance after. Oh, you see when they don't dance. He crowd and said, fresh boys, fresh boys, fresh boys. Hey, Lamont, do you remember? Yes, and you know what? And when I'm saying this, Bishop, I'm not say it for glory and oh. the dirt and the mud. Because that is dirt and mud and filth. I'm telling you what God did in my life. When we finish dance the second time, Bogle come to me and this man here. And Bogle said, I want to be a manager. And I said, not me in a town, mad like you know. You remember him? Yes, sir. And it's from there, me and Bogle start link. You hear me, Bishop? And when God called me, I dance, we go dance when God called me. Yes. See me? I dance, we go dance when God called me. And when God called me, Lego dancing. Where is the worshippers in here? And give me life to Jesus Christ. And guess what, brother Josh? Preacher God told me, you know, you know what God do? God bless me before everybody will hear me. Yes. So you say, hey, Lamon, yes. Yes. I said, God lift me up before a whole of them. All who were going like them, like me, and like me. And all who are prophesied bad things about me. Yes. Right in the face, God just lift me up. Yes. You know why? Yes. Let me tell you why. Because me decide, say, yo, I give God everything. You know. I said, God, you what? No. I'm not perfect, but I you me want. I you me a serve. I you me a worship. And brother Josh, God never fails. You see, if you do what I say tonight, you write it down when you go home. You travel the world and preach. Yeah, Messiah. Shanda. Treat her like your queen. Treat him and him are going to make you rich. Treat him like your king. Where is the worship as it is? If you look by any other woman, you got hell and you got dead poor. Look in my eye. Look in my eye. If you look by any other man, God will kill you. Now hear me. Where you hear me from? Where you hear me from? If me just if me just prophesy and say, God will give you ten million dollar and a clap, don't because I, because I that no one here. You don't want me to talk the truth. Now left your man. Don't left your man. Now walk left him. God give him. Stay with him and pray for him and cry for him. Shia. Shanda Masaya, Yama Masaya, Yapa Papa Pasha. Love God. Ball. Go beg, go lock up, go on in a bush. Go on over Herman, go ball. Me used to do it. You know what Babe would dead say? Babe tell you, and tell box, and tell whole of people say, Me know when Brother Baker getting gifted now. Babe said, I know Brother Baker getting gift. And when they say, oh, when? He said, you see over the bush there. Eh? Every Sunday, when you hear Brother Baker over there, a ball and a prayer. You think this woman have come overnight? Huh? All them bad men passed the boy there. Where is the worship? I truth. I don't like me, I tell man. Don't look at me like that. 
All right, all those good men, pastor men. I want you to make them like me. And because of the gift of God in my belly. And I said that we said to you, say, God call you, man. And if you want your family, then look down for you. Stay up, be for your beer. Get sitting down. You know, say, you know, say, if you want fire, then I love like me. You, know? you hear me just say, feel, feel one father. We get him. You know, love him like how this boy, I love him. I feel me son this. There is a worship as in here. Up your mouth and shout a praise. You hear me, Bishop? No. You say, if you want. Live in a lock and you want to get this job here, lose it, look one next one, get one next job, and nothing I'm going to you. You stay or you stay now. Just pray no one then. Read the Bible every one once in a week. Come to church and stay out of the door. And just, and just stay the way the dead poor and go on to hell. Shia Basa. You say, if you want God Almighty for moving in your life, you move God, no man. Go in a one bush and nobody knows you. And nobody can hear you go fall to God Almighty. Go beg Him, do! And watch what happened in your life. Watch how God does spin around. And watch how God does open doors. And watch how God does lift you up. And look how God does start to use you. And tell me who can stop God from moving in your life. His bad mind family member. Shia Basa, where is the worshippers in here, man? Where is the warriors in here, man? Brother Josh, every word where God speak over your life shall come to pass. Where is the believers in here? Somebody better agree with him right now, you know. Somebody better agree with him right now, you know, because you're traveling and preaching. You know? You'll be a pastor, evangelist, moving all over the world, you know, and an and, and international evangelist, you know, and your wife shall sit beside you, you know. Shanda Messiah, who am I talking to? You're ready to release it over their life, warriors. Come on, you're ready to release it over their lives. After three, you're going to shout the name of Jesus over them, and a fresh flow of the anointed shall fall on them. One, two, three. Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, give I thee in the name of Jesus Christ. I come in agreement with you that God shall raise you up and God shall use you to be a shifter. Shandabasa, to be a shifter, God shall raise you up. Somebody help him. I said, God shall raise you up. God shall use you. You shall lay hand on the sick. You shall lay hand on the sick. You shall lay hand on the sick, and the sick shall recover. Somebody up your mouth and help them. Hallelujah. Up your mouth and help them. Yes. Up your mouth and help them. Yes. Somebody show double anointing. Double. Somebody show double double. Double, double, double. double for the trouble. Double for all the hell you have been through. God shall raise you up. And God shall use it to be a shifter. Somebody release a praise. Somebody release a worship. That's it. That's it. No weapon. That's it. No weapon. That's it. That's it. That's it. Come on, open up your mouth. Take a minute and just push. Push tonight. Push tonight for your Rehoboth. God is about to move. God is about to move. Who I want you. Forget about yourself. And push. God is about to shift. God is about to Husband and run with him. Take your wife and run. Run over the different countries. Run. Every country you run over. 
you shall go with the gospel you shall preach the gospel run with it son Shia Shanda me never say walk with him he say run with it yes sir yes sir everything must give way somebody prophesy over your life give way give way to your ministry give way to your calling give way to your anointing Shia somebody help them up your mouth and help them run with it run in New York City run with it run in Queens run with it run in Florida run send him man send him send him travel America travel America I said travel America I said no better travel America preach the gospel I don't care who don't like you preach the gospel somebody say something Put me a mouth and shout again. I say shout again. I say shout again. Shout one more praise. Stand up. Shia. Come here. Stand up here. We are the worshipers. Keep the praises on. Keep the praises on. I said, keep the praises on. I said, keep the worship on. Keep the worship on. Keep the worship on. Somebody open your mouth. Jesus is your deliverer. Come on, somebody. Keep the praises on. Keep the worship on. Keep the worship on. Keep the praises on. Jesus is your healer. Open your mouth, warriors. He's doing it for you right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Somebody open your mouth and say, right now. Somebody say, right now. When I lay my hand on you tonight, a turnaround is about to take place. Shia Basa. I see a witchcraft that is attacking you. But God said he's delivering you from that tonight. Not tomorrow. Not next week. But tonight. Where are the believers? Say something in here. Shia. Look in my eyes. God said to tell you he's not true with you yet. God have work for you to do in the kingdom of God. Where are the believers? Where are the worshippers? Say something. Open your mouth and shabba the king. Open your mouth and yada the king. When I lay my hand on you, the Lord is sending an angel to the bedroom. There's an attack in the bedroom. And when I lay my hand on you, God says an angel is going to the bedroom to deal with that spirit. Where is the worshippers? Warriors say something. Worshippers say something. So you don't need to tell me anything. You don't need to tell your bishop anything. The spirit of God know what you're going through. And he's the one that gave victory to the church. Where is the worshipers in here? Where are the praisers in here? Stretch your hands towards them now. When I lay my hand on you, the battle will be taken over by God. It will be in your hands no more. Hallelujah. This battle belongs to Jesus. Jesus is going to fight the battle tonight. Hallelujah. And give you the victory. Where is the worshippers? Come on believers. Stretch your hands towards them now. When you say Jesus. Where is the worshippers? I say when you say Jesus. Jesus shall go before them. And the Lord our Savior shall fight for them. Come on, warriors, after three, say Jesus. One, two, three. Jesus. One, two, three. Jesus. One, two, three. Jesus. One, two, three. Silver and gold. One, have I none? Jesus. But such as I have. Jesus. Somebody start a war in here now. Such as I have. Give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
I declare war right now. I push back the attack. I render it powerless. Somebody help her. That's it. That's it. Jesus, somebody help her. Shanda Basa. Yama Messiah. Wah! Plead the blood, warriors. Plead the blood. Plead the blood and fight. Wah! 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 Shaya. Yama Messiah. Somebody up your mouth, that's it. Up your mouth, that's it, that's it. Up your mouth, that's it, that's it, that's it. Up your mouth, that's it, that's it, that's it. Up your mouth. Wipe your head with this, son. I'm covering you tonight. Look in my eyes. I see two things. I see two demons. I see one that they set to kill you. And two, that you get to defend you. The one where you get to guard you is now against you. And the one where them set friend for turn against you. Police for turn against you. Bad man for one kill you. The two of them now are together fighting you. So they say you must die. But you are at the right place. At the right time. For your deliverance. God send you here tonight. Shia Basa. I said, The Lord send you here tonight. We are all the worshippers. I said, The Lord send you here tonight to deliver you, to break death from off you. Somebody stretch your hands towards him now. When I lay my hand on you, I'm, I'm speaking to every gunshot. Come hear them voices in me. I hear them. I said, They only want you there a certain place. They may wait for you there a certain place. Shia Basha. But Holy Ghost is here to protect you tonight. Some trust in chariots. Some trust in horses. Some trust in Egyptians. But there's a people who put their trust in the Lord. And they that put their trust in the Lord shall be like Mount Zion. That shall never be moved. Shia Basa. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 Go to a far country. Never to return. Fire. Shanda. Somebody plead the blood and say, Go. Never to return. Stretch your hands towards him now, warriors. After three, all you need to do is call the name of Jesus over him. The name of Jesus is a strong and a mighty tower. The righteous run it into it. And they are safe. After three, say Jesus over him. And God will fight the battle for him. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Jesus. Shia. Somebody help him. That's it. Somebody help him. That's it. Be loose, Peter. Hide him under your blood. Jesus, hide him under your blood. Somebody up your mouth and say something. Somebody up your mouth and say something. Hide him. Cover him. He that dwell it in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty somebody plead the blood and say Jesus hide them Jesus cover them Jesus cover them come here come here son you know what bishop is praying for you come here and tell you what I'm praying for you I'm praying and hiding from misidentity. Yeah. Nobody now mistake you with nobody and kill you. I hide you under the blood, 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 blood. This no good.
God, fire, fire, Holy Ghost, on fire to a far country, never to return. Shire, hide you. Then I make no mistake and kill you for somebody else. Blood and fire. Shire. Somebody hide him, man. Somebody say blood and fire now. Up near Mount Warriors, give God a praise in here. Give the Lord a praise in here. Give the Lord a praise. In here. Where the place where you name, where you live, name again? Hartford. I see the blood thirsty man's up a Hartford. Drive him back. Drive him back. Drive him. Reverse. Back up. Back up. Back up. Reverse, you demon of murder. Go. Fire. Somebody plead the blood, no man. Plead the blood and say fire. Somebody plead the blood and say fire. Somebody echo fire, fire, fire. Somebody say holy ghost fire. Come here, sir. Holy ghost fire. Hide you. Close your eyes now. Shire, close your eyes. You know? Your eye must only see when God say. Close your eyes. You saw not tell us how many things are. Demons, blood, fire. Lose him. Now, where is the worshippers in here? Up your mouth and give God one more praise. Warriors, where are you? Worshippers, where are you? Hallelujah. Up your mouth and shabbat the king. Yeah. Up your mouth and yada the king. Oh. If you are here and you are not saved. Hallelujah. If you are here and you are not saved. Come to this altar. If you are here and you need prayer, walk to this altar. If you are here and you need deliverance, walk to this altar. If you are here and you are bound, walk to this altar. If you are here and you are sick, walk to this altar. And the fire of God is at this altar. We reach the worship and say something. Come on, if you are not baptized in the name of Jesus, walk to this altar. Altar workers, it's your time now. Altar workers, it's your time now. Yes. One, one, one person is ready to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Is there another? Come. Safe journey, preacher. Yes. The water is shovel. Yes. One more person is ready. One more person is ready. One more person is ready to be baptized in Jesus' name. Somebody keep the praises on. Oh, you never, ever, 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 ever see the same again. Do it not blow on pretty far. Praise God, God is growing, growing again. again. Growing again. Oh, the wind is blowing again. Just like the 